it's like, oh, well, these things happen, you know? Do you guys hear the music? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's some people like, you know, chit chatting and stuff every now and then. Chatty caddies. Yeah, they're back there. Hold on for myself. Uh... I forgot, we're doing hero we'll points, right? Yeah, two. You start. You start with two hero points, and recap gives you one more. So you have. Uh, th- you can start at three if you do the recap, and then uh, I do give them out for um, you know, good moments. Good moments. Pathfinder is actually running pretty well on this lineup test. Maybe it's uh, less mod. Maybe. Okay. Pathfinder does have yeah. less mods. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just have Sirenscape at max and just turn down the bot for myself. That'll make things easier so I'm not worried about two different... Uh... Yeah, because now I can have the bot at like 70 and... I don't have to worry about it. I'm just not going to worry about volume on Siren's Game. Just worry about the volume on the bot. Hey, is anybody here rain? Yes. Yep. Oh, uh, is that in the game? Yep. Oh. Well, not yeah, in the game. It's, it's, in, it's, in, it's, in the, it's in the bot. In the Discord. Me, it's making me have to pee. Well, then go, 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 you know, use the restroom real quick before we start. You're in luck. The bathroom for, for, the cell doors now. Professor, oh, yeah, that's true. Pr- professor, may I use the restroom? You're a grown adult. You don't have to. You don't have to ask me. Oh, I thought that we were doing a school school based game. All right, fine. I mean, do you have that? Yeah, do you yeah, have yeah, that ask professor in college to go to use the restroom? Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no. no, no. People just no. walk out. I mean, I mean, I definitely had to ask Mrs. Kraft, but I mean, that was a whole thing. You know what? Let's play the game. Let's, uh, let's do the. It's game time. We don't need to talk about college adventures. Let's have college adventures. There we go. If you're out there, Miss Craft, I still love you. I've never stopped loving you. I uh, just want you to know that. Okay. Um, I'm ready if you guys are. Let me know when you're ready, Red. Oh, I think I think Red's already begun. Did he? Is he? I think so. He's muted, oh, yeah. but uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We, yeah. It's it's live. Okay. All right. Um, all righty. Uh, welcome back uh, to uh, Strength of Thousands, uh, Book One, Kindled Magic, Session Number Two. All right. We made it. You know, we're, we're uh, halfway through uh, the number of sessions we've already gone through. You know. We're Two halfway sessions. there. We're halfway yeah. there. A all right, um, running games on the server for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's figure out what your guys' uh, aspiration question is for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear chat too. Uh, don't forget to refill your uh, hero points and uh, redraw your hero cards. Start off with two. Uh, let's figure out twenty-three hundred. Start you start at two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you start with two. So I have three currently. So, just... so yeah, you want to erase one and start with two. Get rid of all your cards and draw new ones. Okay. I'll discard. 
Alright. Oh, what was that? Oh. Sorry. Ancestral might, huh? Oh, discarded? Okay. 100. So if you, uh, if you go to your encounter, yeah, there's, thing, there's, there's, there's like there's a bunch of... Yeah, you want to you want to go there and click discard on all the cards, mm -hmm. and then they'll have like a button at the bottom saying discard them. If you, you want to go to your second tab, the in, the actions tab. Yeah, I got it. They're, they're stricken through, but I don't see a discard them. You must discard one hero action. Oh, set your set your hero points to zero first, then uh, discard all. Uh, uh, uh. God, right click, right step, yeah. step one. Zero out your hero points. Step yeah, right two, click on your hero points hit discard zero. on any any hero cards you have left. Step three, there'll be a little bar that appears that's like confirm discarding these cards. Mm -hmm. Step four, give yourself back your two hero points. <laughs> and then step draw five, new draw new cards. Yeah. This is like a turn of magic. You have to upkeep, draw. Every untap. part of this, every part of this <laughs> is like magic. I swear to God. It's just, it's, yeah. All right. So. Uh, the question, your lucky fact question, not lucky fact, your factspiration question of the uh, day is, um, are you summer, fall, spring, or winter? Please share why. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, are we rolling right. for it now, or are we doing it after the this recap? Is this is rolling, is after recap. Ah, oh, so, all right. I, I mean, you, know, you, don't want, you want me to delete that? that or you, you, that that's my role for the recap then all right all right okay. okay so in that case who wants to go ahead and give us a recap of what happened last time for that extra hero point go ahead and roll out all right going once going twice all right sold to shalia shalia Um, last week, uh, we finally, or I was able to finally start my journey of running. Uh, started in the early morning and um, at the welcome walk where I was finally able to meet uh, Teacher Ott and the fellow students of my cohort. Uh, Tasha, Dusty, Lotus, and uh, Vanji. Uh, some of us kind of seem to know each other already. Uh, Lotus, Dusty, and uh, Tataro seem close. Well, Vanji and I know each other from some run-ins that he's had with some, some peacocks. They were flamingos, and they were really angry. Uh, I don't... They looked in distress, Vanji. After getting to know each other slightly, um, we met with the teacher, and he uh, escorted us to the center um, building of the, the academy. Um, a kind of dome platform where elemental magic of different elements flowed from the ground 120 or 80 feet in the air to the top of this dome. Um, in the center of it there was a large, I guess, map of a globe of uh, the area. And he proceeded to mm, ask us questions about ourselves. You know, who we were, what we wanted to get out of the Academy, and how we would help the Academy going forward. Some of us had a better idea than others of what we planned on doing. But it is part of the journey. Um, and then we had, uh, I believe it was four tests that we had to uh, find different ways to, to solve. Uh, between like lighting a candle or 
getting a feather from a chicken, um, getting a secret from a snake, um, making a a rock dance. Everyone had such interesting and unique ideas of way of solving it. I, I very felt my ideas were, mm, I guess, simplistic in comparison to some of them. Afterwards, he uh, took us south and went past the the Whistle Tower on our way towards the Spine uh, Dormitory. Uh, Vanji uh, got a little distracted and almost went into uh, the food court, um, but there will be time for food uh, later. Um, yeah, he dropped us off at the dorm, and we went inside to meet, um, um, Etsy, Etsy, I believe it's her name, Etsy, uh, she's kind of like, um, in charge of the dormitory, but she is a student of a different cohort, um. She showed us around and uh, introduced us to um, Chizuru and uh, Gracius, who uh, Toro seemed to be interested in. Um, I think he's an alchemist also. We uh, started looking and trying to find out what dorm we wanted. Uh, when Lotus walked into one of the bathrooms and um, the hand towels um, tried to attack her. Um, Lotus actually handled that very well. Um, just kind of ignored them and walked away. Um, <laughs> Mandy and myself were able to um, preoccupy these hand towels that were shaped like frogs for some reason. Um, while Lotus finally kind of wandered off and was fiddling with, um, was it a clock? Uh, I don't know, a clock that you put a coin in and it, like, gave her some sort of piece of paper. We didn't hurt or damage anything, luckily, though. Um, everyone picked rooms and set about unpacking their things. Um, and we, I believe we just finished unpacking, um, and now have some free time to, uh, well, I guess, hopefully not getting in too much trouble. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and take your third hero point. Thank you for the recap. All righty. Uh, now, uh, does anybody want to, uh, answer this, uh, um, fact expiration question. Are you summer, fall, spring, or winter? Um, please share why. Go ahead and roll out uh, d20. Right. Going once. Going twice. All right, sold to a lotus. Oh, okay. Uh, Lotus is definitely more of a, um, autumn, uh, season. It's, uh, it's a season of, uh, change. You, you feel time passing. Uh, you, you feel that transition from, uh, from summer, uh, into winter. It's, you know, if you're in a temperate climate where there's actually seasons, of course. It's, uh, it's blustery, it's unpredictable, um there's there's spookiness uh, uh afoot and there is a certain sadness to summer's end and a a bit of fear to the harshness of winter but also depending on traditions and customs um a, a time of, of rest and reflection in the winter uh and so you you get the the hints of that and then you get the um 
the threat of that while also the the loss of uh the freedom and joy of summer and uh also just the colors are good and fall it really matches her overall uh vibe so yep okay. that's it all right awesome all right you have i put the orange dot on you rec- recognize that you have a uh the fact spell which is a free plus one that you can even put in after the fact right all right now um uh, i would like to ask a shali the same question okay um shali, do you uh, accept yeah uh, I'll, I'll take it um uh, definitely winter um it's cooler it's calmer and I just really hate sweating. It's just an uncomfortable feeling. And you don't really do that much in winter. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I figured, you know, it would be nicer to be in the water during summer than, than winter. But hey, alrighty. I'll oh, take a little bottle Okay. All right. Um, well, in that case, uh, some uh, housekeeping stuff real quick. Those of you who uh, got the... Um, when you guys picked out your your symbols and got spells that you already had, apparently there's a little note, fine print at the bottom says that if, uh, if a person already has access to that spell, they can pick a different cantrip from that same... Uh, um, uh, what you call it? Type of magic. That's why I like so, it here. So for you, uh, uh, Vonji, uh, you had gotten the um, the bound scales, which was guidance, and it was a primal. So you can you can get one uh, innate primal cantrip of your choice. Wonderful. I will I will go at it right now. Yep. And Lotus, you had gotten a message, which you already have. Uh, and that's an arcane innate spell, so you can get one arcane innate uh, cantrip of your choice. Now, keep in I mind, I can get an in, arcane a cantrip of my choice. Keep in mind that it is based off of charisma. I'll take a left spell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I have to, so I need to make a separate section for. Yeah, separate section. Yeah, se- separate section. Make it innate arcane, mm-hmm. um, and set it to charisma. Okay. Yep. And you you'll have that. For a specific, uh, undetermined amount of time. Uh, red electric arc is the um, Eldric blast of this game system. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Um, Fortunately, okay. Electric arc is not rock theme, so. <laughs> Uh, another thing too, um, there was a bit of art I missed. I uh, was supposed to show you guys when you first uh, kind of went through the welcoming walk and got to uh, the end of the welcoming walk before you guys turned towards the. Uh, actually, no, it would have happened be- right before you got towards the circle. Uh, this, you guys saw this. Uh, let me show you handouts. Oh, so there's a giant monument. Is that all the students who died? No, that's all the students oh. who, have, who have graduated. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. The thousand, the strength of thousands. Okay. The thousands, Lotus. Uh, who's so, who's gonna um, start counting? Sure graduating seems teacher, hard. Teacher, <laughs> teacher Ott would have uh, uh, explained that um, you know, uh, this is the the names that are etched onto this monument are all the students that have. I've graduated, some have remained as teachers, some have gone out and done their own thing. Uh, one day, you, uh, hopefully, one day, you all will um, etch your name onto this monument too, adding your, um, adding you all to the uh, the strength of thousands for the future of uh, uh, new students. Do you guys have any like family on here or anything? No. Oh. I don't have any family. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, you can't miss what you've never had. Oh, uh, okay. Um, 
sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Why Salty do you keep guys. apologizing? Did you murder my family? No, no, I, I don't. I don't know. You don't know if you murdered my family? No, I mean, it's your I'm just, I'm just So you do know. know that you murdered my family? I know that I did not murder your family. Maybe. But you know where my family is? That's how you know they weren't murdered? Uh, I'm gonna keep walking this direction. Alright. So, uh, I'll take you guys back to the dormitory map. And we'll get started. Alright, so... Um, yes, you guys are now inside your rooms. And, you know, as just walking in, it seemed to, to look like which how you wanted to look. For some reason, even though you don't. You guys <laughs> have to spend, some time, spend some time, you know, to actually get it set up to be to look like this. Oh, like like on every like sitcom slash uh, drama about kids at school or, or or young adults at college, like just instantly, like the room just has our personality. Eventually, was there like at least a five minute montage of us unpacking a box? That, that's that's what that's what's gonna have to happen. <laughs> okay. like right now, right now, it's, right now it's on the map. You uh, haven't had the montage yet. Okay, fair, fair. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, uh, let me see here. Okay, so yeah, uh, you guys have uh, you know picked out your rooms. Essie uh, uh, kind of yells out and says, uh, "Well, um, have you guys visited the the dining hall or the powder pile yet? The, pow the powder pile? The, the what? Powder pile. The what? What is what is what is this? Yep. What, what is, is that?" that? Oh, uh, it's the school supply store. Yeah, you guys should go there. Um, oh, I can take yeah. you if you need. Uh, Do they sell books? Yeah, every, uh, pretty much everything that you need here. Uh, they even sell scrolls and, and magical powders for experiments and uh, potions and uh, wands and staffs if you if you need. Mm -hmm. Do we hmm. get a discount? <laughs> no. Oh. I mean, if you're what? not too busy, I think we'll be honored right. to. Yes. Show us. Essie, you're so you're helpful and kind. All right, no problem. Uh, just give me a second. I need to take care of something in my room. And I'll meet you guys out here. I see. Do you need any help in your room? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just getting some extra umbrellas for you guys. Wow. She's so thoughtful. She's so nice. Hmm. Everyone that we have met here has been very nice. Well, I wouldn't say everyone we've met here is very nice. That nerdy little uh, alchemist, he wasn't very nice. Alright. Uh, I think he was uh, just I'm... busy with his reading. Now, I have a yes. good sense of who's nice and or not. He, he definitely strikes me as a not nice guy. You do you strike? Do I strike you as a nice guy? You strike me as too nice. <laughs> I, I'm I'm worried that someone's going to take advantage of you. Who would do such a thing? Oh, the not nice people. They oh. prey on the nice people like you. Oh, it's okay. You 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 you. Lotus, do not. Me, right? Yeah. Hmm? Let's go corrupting Bonji with your superstition. They're not superstitions. People are who they are, and they are what they are. Dusty. Mm -hmm. uh, I would yes. be surprised I'm if Essie is just being later. nice to us to <laughs> manipulate us in some way. I, I remember. Okay. I just like I'll, I'll uh, check it out later. Are you gonna check it out later? You don't want to check it out now? Uh, well, okay. not, not if everyone's getting ready to go. Like, <laughs> does he just look at it? And then I'll, I'll make a mental. I mean, you later. can see, you, you can you can you can see the lines <laughs> that uh that separate it. Yeah, yeah. Lotus, I think if you meet people genuinely, what? you're. Better shots, a better chance of getting a genuine relationship in return. Well, that's certainly some advice. Are we going somewhere? Uh, yes, Essie's going to take us to the wand store. We're going to the school store, and then, and then, Dusty, we're going to go 
the best place on campus. Trust me. Okay. I've been to the store right, before. Come on. The owner's nice. Oh, you have? Yeah. He's a kobold like me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He, he, he picks up chicken. And then he's going to run her, run them over this way. Back to the before, before they get going. I think they ran this way before. Okay. So I'm just going to run up to the door. And then um, I'm just going to gently put chicken down in front of the door. And then... I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock a couple times on the door, and then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna peer around the corner. Here, you hear unlock. The door creaks open slightly. <laughs> they peek out. Uh huh. Once they, if they, look. if they, if they down the hall and they see me, I do, a, <laughs> I do a little wave, and then I run away. <laughs> They, uh, you hear a whimper, and then they grab chicken and, uh, and run in. You hit the door lock again. Excellent. Perfect. Dusty, did you leave a note with the chicken? No. What? The chicken? Did I leave a note? Yes, leave a note to your new friend. Oh, I, I, I just waved. Sure, nods at that. Okay, I'm ready. Alright. As he hand starts handing you out hand you guys out umbrellas. Why do you have so many umbrellas? <laughs> have, you, have you not been in Nintambu <laughs> for for yeah. very long? No, I mean I get it, but I mean like why you why you carry so many? Many. What happened? So you don't oh, have to dry do off you? Later. Do you lose them too? Oh, I, I. Oh, I can't get it. I well, one. You, never, you need one to match your outfit. <laughs> okay, I agree with this. This is true. All right, come on. I uh, question: Are these? Do we need to return these to you? Do you feel you need to return them to me? Yes. All right then. I'll take it. I'll. 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 Oh, Proceed it if you feel like you want to return it. If it's raining and there might be lightning outside, and I can't control if I get struck by lightning by accident, and I might destroy the umbrella. I just want to give you a heads up that maybe return damage somewhere or another. All right. She's cool with that. Okay, she's cool with that. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You're struck uh, by you lightning. See Chiser, ch you see, Chisora is just like full on uh, knock, knocked out and sleeping. <laughs> And there's like a a, a, a half-eaten mango sitting on his chest. <laughs> Strong college kid, <laughs> hung over on the couch. Mm. All right. So you guys back to the, I'll take you guys back to the, uh, the 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 campus map. All righty. So, uh, she as you guys leave the uh, dormitory and start heading up this way. Uh, you pass by a large field uh, that seems to have a bunch of bleak, uh, like benches and uh, a few like uh, arenas set up. Uh, you guys are past uh, as you guys pass by. As he says, "Oh, that's the uh, that's the sparring fields." Sparring fields. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Do they do like cool wizard duels? You know. Uh. Well. Maybe sometimes, but it's it's actually run by uh, Makfika, our teacher. Teacher, oof. she kind of catches herself and says, uh, uh, "Teacher, are you Wari?" I'll put the name. I'll, I'll put the name in chat. Give me a second. Teacher Ayuwari. Yeah. Uh, do you have you heard of them, uh, Makvika Ayuwari? Yeah, definitely. They're kind of a big deal, right? Aren't they? 
Go ahead and give me a recall knowledge. This would be either be society, or um, I guess Mugambi alone will work on this too. Do you want uh, it hidden? Or yeah, yeah. Go, go go ahead and roll. Uh, use the recall knowledge button. Oh, token on hidden. Oh, I don't have my token on this page. Uh, oh yes, here. I'll no, try out here too. I only have one of those, so I'll just roll. I'll roll the one just hidden. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, you have heard of uh, Mafika Arwari. Uh, they're a teacher here uh, at the Mugambia. They are, uh, what they're mainly famous for is that they participated in the, the Ruby Phoenix tournament um, not too long ago, the, most, the last one that just passed. They didn't win, but they came. They actually survived and, and returned. Um, they're very skilled martial artists. And they uh, they one of the things they're mainly known for teaching is self-defense at Magambia. Are they part of the, uh, the Cascade Bearers? Is what I'm thinking about. Uh, Cascade Bearers are... Um, let me see what he's part of. Not, not, not well, I'm thinking Cascade of the Tempest Bearers. Sun Mages. No, Tempest Sun Mages, those ones, yeah. Um, let me see here real quick. What's with that? Um, he's at, he's, uh, yes, he is a Tempest Sun Mage. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy, uh, that came back from the tournament recently, right? Yeah, that guy. I know, I know them. They, uh, mm -hmm. I think they're, they're part of the branch that I want to join. All right, well, maybe you'll have a class with him at some point. Um, as you guys continue walking by some more. Tacharo, he yeah. nods respectfully at the, uh, the mention of uh, the teacher, but uh, he, uh, he, he keeps a wide breath of the, the starring field. Make sure he walks on the opposite side of the, the, uh, the, the path. You don't want to get hit <laughs> by a football walking past, you know? <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. He's hit by a frisbee. Let me have to... uh, let's see here. Does the school have sports teams? Like, <laughs> besides the boat races? Well, I mean... Uh, a lot there's sparring, uh, people uh, get involved with uh, different things. Uh, I do a lot of archery, uh, and there's a lot of combat training. It's a lot of sparring, a lot of combat training, actually. Um, but there's also uh, performing arts. There's a theater in the Elven mu Museum that people like throw on plays and stuff. And there's also the speaker stage. How many things to do here? And as you guys get around here, uh, and next to this garden, she points out and says, "That's the Leshy, Leshy Gardens." And you see, um, kind of as you guys are walking walking by, you do see there is a um, an elf uh, kind of tending to around the outside of the this thick brush of uh, what you call it a uh, um, plant life jungle. It's almost like a small jungle in here. Oh, uh, really pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Here you guys, this person. Oh man, I was totally thinking it was, it was over here. <laughs> and I'll reveal this. It's the Leshy Gardens. Watch out for the Leshies. They're they like to they're a little rambo uh, mischievous. All right, and as you come back around here, uh, she says, oh, that's the shifting shifting greenhouse. So uh, the shifting greenhouse, uh, one of the cool things about it is that it's a, uh, it looks like a normal greenhouse. There's plant, plants to light up. At night, most of the plants light up, has a, uh, a bioluminescent effect. Uh, there's always like a really nice cool breeze inside there too. You just go stand in there and look cool. Are all these buildings open at the same time, or do they have like different hours? Um, it really depends on what it is. Uh, the shipping greenhouse is pretty much open most of the time. Anybody can really go inside there and sit down and uh, you know relax. You can use it maybe to study there if you want. Um, and then there's other classrooms that are closed and offices that are closed if. Professor's not not here. Things like that. 
It's the Indigo Hall. Um, if you ever get any injuries or anything like that, head over to the Indigo Hall. That's where the infirmary is. I make a very strong <laughs> mental note of the fastest way to the infirmary from all directions on campus. Uh, that's also where uh, uh, Mafika has his, uh, his office. And I'll turn on his token there since you can see it now, since you don't know what that is. And you, since you rolled so well on your recall knowledge, uh, you'll see what he looks like. Uh, all right. As you guys come around, uh, you you do see the Heron archives in, back there, and you, as he says, uh, that's the Heron archives. It's the big, it's the oldest and the largest uh, library on, on campus, as well as uh, the offices for many teachers there. It was kind of crazy. Like I heard last year, there was like a, a thing where uh, it got flooded. Be careful sometimes. Were there right. any attacks of shark varieties in there? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's crazy. But I heard something about that, maybe. All right, here's the powder pile. And I'll take you guys over to this map. Powder pile. And let me drag out SE she sees here now. And turn on right. Oh uh, well. Alright, activate. Alrighty. Let me see here. Alright, here we are. As you guys, as you step in, uh, follow, uh, you see that this uh, store um, is a collection of a bunch of just random magical knickknacks. And you, you notice that outside in this area seems to be pretty uh, uh, sort of disorganized out in, in, up here. Things just seem to be laid out. Uh, the, the area out here is, is pretty messy. Um, but uh, you notice that the bar and the uh, uh, anywhere past the bar seems to be uh, perfectly clean. There seems to be two uh, uh, plates on the front that are uh, perfectly centered on the bar and evenly spaced out. As you guys kind of walk in, uh, you see a cobalt run from uh, behind the thing, run up a couple steps and stands behind the bar and says, uh, uh, New students? Yes. Okay, line up. Oh, oh. Start, and he points, he points to right here. Start there, line up. He, he said points this way. Oh, that way? Oh, shoot. Wrong side. He pulls out a, a very long list. It's like a CBS receipt, this thing. It's crazy. He just keeps unfolding it. He stands up on top of the bar and goes towards you and hands you a lump of clay. And then hands, hands each of you a lump of clay. Perfect. I've only yeah. need roughly 17 more of these. Thank you. you fold that into a bead and then give it back. I hope I go to work. <laughs> Uh, if you want to try and do something something uh, impressive, yes, you could give me a crafting check. Okay. You said like a bead, like like a bead, like a bead. string, like, uh, like a bead, like kind of mm. what your bracelet is, like a bead. Okay. I'm gonna. I watched the char to see what he's doing. He wants us to make a bead. Yeah, he gave you a lump of clay and told you to make a bead. Oh, the how big is the lump of clay? Uh, it's about the. Uh, it's about the size of uh, like your th the bottom of your thumb. That little lump there. It's pretty big. I see. All right, Chara's gonna roll it up into like a 
like a vial type of thing. Like you'd make like a little, uh, I don't know, like a crucible type thing that you would before you. He's, he's made those before because you have to cure them to carry uh, like hazardous materials. So he'll he'll make another one of those. So he'll do this crap. Oh, I'd like to cast this spell. You take a deep breath, survey the social situation, uh, showing courtesy along. For the casting spell, we, we come. I'm gonna use a hero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's better. Excellent. All right, you make exactly what you're looking for. Uh, he again He's goes up to you. Be, but he wants to also be functional. All right. He uh, he puts his hand out for you to take the. Uh, for to take the beat from you. He uh, hands him the beat and the the shopping mark. All right. As he as he takes as he takes the beat from you, your uh, before you put your hand, in, he puts a glass uh uh bead into your hand, shaped like a bulging. It's a tan, you know, glass tan tan glass bead shaped like a bulging uh sack. And I'll sit, throw this on your inventory in your inventory. Add it to your beat your uh, beat bracelet. Uh, where is it? Thank you. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tacharo. Yes, yes, Tacharo. All right, and he goes to Vanji. Uh, I I keep trying to get it in a circle, but it keeps coming out like a noodle string. Um, do you have like a, a mold or something or, or something like that? Yeah, he, uh, he looks at you and says no. Okay, uh, can, can you come back to me then? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. No, to... N- oh. no, you, you now. You're second. Oh. Uh, okay. Here, I hand him. Just, uh, it just looks like. And uh, could Charles like lean over and like help uh ride like a hell like help? Let me let's say uh, if you just do a little bit of a finesse here and move this around. I provide like a complimentary. Uh, if you want to, you want to aid. Uh, well, you were you were yeah. in the middle of crafting your thing while this is happening, so it would be one of those things where. Oh. I, see your I mean, Sorry. I mean, you did pretty. You doing pretty. You did pretty good. I give it little eyes, and then I hand it over to him. Okay. Yeah. All right. He takes it and then hands you also a uh, a tan glass bead. It's in your inventory now. Those are the lotus. Uh, Lotus, uh, I mean, yeah, you made a exactly what, whatever you were trying to make. You made it. It's a little scorpion with its tail curled around, Aww. so that that's the hole that the string would go through. All right, he takes it, and then he hands you your your glass bead. Oh no! Hold on, can I roll an acrobatics check as I turn around and notice the shovel? How does this work? <laughs> Oh, it's a reflex save? He's got to play it out. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, uh, yes, you do see the shovel on the floor. Uh, well, no, Tachara pointed uh, it out, so I want to turn around real quick and then make a reflex and not get hit by it as I step on. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean, go ahead and give me a reflex save. Uh, damn, here it is. All right, uh, for your level, that would be uh, just a regular failure. So, uh, it does, uh, 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 what do you call it? Bump up, you like do step on it, and it does fly up yeah. and hit you. And yeah, right, in nose, say, right in the nose, and he holds right, his nose. No. It's going to be here. Uh, I see it, I see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to make you. Uh, we're going to make you off guard for now. Okay. For a while. <laughs> yeah. Sensitive nose. Yeah. He just kind of pushes. He just kind of slides it into the under the under the thing. <laughs> Char's gonna. He's gonna start going to get his backpack up. He's, he's going for uh, his first aid kit. <laughs> It's so Dusty. Are you, are you okay? Don't 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 move. Don't move. No, don't do says. it. I'm okay. 
Because of the Urshala. Urshala, yeah. Um, she's just made a very, I don't know, the thickest bead that she could out of that, that little clay mm -hmm. that was given. Just very simple, but very thick. All right. He takes it, hands you your, your bead. He, then he uh, hops, hops down and then sees the, uh, the shovel. And uh, he's like, he stares at it for a bit. And he looks at you, Dusty. Stares back down at it. Yeah. And he picks he picks it up, drags it up, drags it away, and uh, leans it up against the wall. Comes over. I hand and then, him. Uh, puts his hand out. Okay, I hand him. Uh, it's like a simple torus shape, kind of flattish. All right. Takes it. Hands you your bead. And runs back here. Even though he could probably run under this thing, he actually lifts it up and then walks, walks in, closes it, comes over here, jumps back up on, on the thing, steps right here. And then he walks all the way over to here and uh, uh, then jump, jumps back down, comes over here, pulls something out of the uh, the uh, uh, cabinet from behind the, behind the counter, jumps back up, and then puts uh, four pieces of gold on the uh, on this plate. Oh wait, actually, hold on. Let me see here. Did Lotus get anything off her spell that she cast? Read the air. Uh, the oh yeah, for the recall knowledge, Lotus. Um, uh, you were doing society for the mm -hmm. plus one to see what the right right social thing to do is, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh. It's, right now you are doing it. Um, you see, for what you're getting the feeling is that this this person is very, uh, um, I guess, OCD in terms of you know wanting to do things in certain orders, and so uh, by just by just following his directions, you are, um, you know, he, increasing your your way of uh, gaining a you know better uh, uh, impression of him. Okay. So, yep. Does that help me when? Do I have to roll a make an impression? Are you are you using that kind of stuff in your game or no? Yes, I will. Um, but uh, if that's at you know after you spend time talking to somebody, if you say you want to you know get this person you know do something, I would probably you know no, do normal talking. At some point, I may just ask you to do a roll. Okay. Uh, but you can you can also say if, if your intention is to want to make an impression on somebody, you can. Uh, 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 that is definitely yeah. her 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 goal. With okay. All with all people. Okay. All right. Then at moment, there's be moments where I'll, if I since I know that there are going to be moments where I'm going to ask you to make rolls. Then. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, he does uh, takes so instead of taking out four gold, what he does is takes out a sack and places it on this plate and tells and points to you, Chitara, and says, "This is for you. Take it." I was so ominous, um, stunned it as he handed it to you. I'm going to go to Chitara and take the, uh, is it sack? Does it look like it has all the things on his list? No. It's, <laughs> it looks like a coin sack. And he says, hey, once you take it, he says, move over to the next side. It's right there. He'll shrug and say, uh, I, I assume everything else has already been gone. I've already been sent to my room. And he'll, uh, he'll move. All right. Next. Hey. Tells you to move right here. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then he, he puts us—he puts a sack on the plate for you. Thank you. I take it. All right. He then jumps over to the other side here, and then puts four gold on this on this plate. Tells the char to take it. I, I take it. First sack. Uh, he says. Uh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let me see here. Uh, he says, first stack, uh, sack, uh, uh, initial stipend, 40 gold. Second, uh, monthly stipend, 4 gold. Are we each getting 44 gold right now? Hey, what, did you say that out loud, Lotus? Uh, I, I say it quietly uh, to... Um, uh, 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 
Ashalia. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and give me a self check. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the skills I don't have training in. Alright, can we check something here? Uh, huh, huh. This ain't 5e, so I'm pretty sure he heard yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, he heard he did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he, what he turns, he says, no, you get him uh, 40 gold stipend, and then 4 gold uh, uh, monthly stipend. Are we getting it right now? So to Charo, you just you you can add forty four gold to your your sheet. All right. All right. Uh, Vanji, you currently have forty four. Uh, we really do get he, paid going here. He points he points you to the rest of the shop, uh, to Charo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he gives you money, and then you're in his shop. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's business. That's good business. So, yeah, yeah, he tells you to move from your from that spot, so that the next person can go. All right, this, he'll, uh, Charles, he'll, he'll bring his list out and start chanting. All right, all right. Bonji, he puts once you put step forward, he puts forty four. Uh, he puts four gold on this plate for you. Can I, can I take it? Yes, monthly stipend. Okay, thank you. I will I take the gold. Right. Tell you just step over here, Lotus. <laughs> he puts the sack on this plate. 40 gold initial stipend. Tells you to move it here. Puts four gold on this plate. Monthly stipend. Four gold. Thank you. Puts the sack here for Ashala. Ashala. Mm -hmm. Reaches out and grabs it. All right. Puts the four gold on this one. And retrieves that one also. All right. Zach? Mm -hmm. He reaches up, goes back to the spot, goes to the next spot, reaches up. He puts the four wheel? Yep. Comes back to right. <laughs> it. Okay. Initial student welcome is finished. Feel free to shop. Let me know if you need help. And uh, now, if you want, you could click on Zul. You should be able to double click on his sheet and it should open up a shop. Double click on Zolk and it should open up a shop, I think. Let me know if it does. Mm -mm. It does not. Okay, hold on. Uh, I might need to make him uh, uh, limited. How about now? Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, this shop, uh, you guys can get uh, any, any adventuring gear. Um, any adventuring gear, alchemical item, or held item up to level three, and um, oils, potions, and scrolls, and wands up to level five, and staves up to level six. Wow. Oh boy. We can't afford any of these staves. Yeah. He does. Uh, as you guys are browsing, he does say, um, if. Uh, Magambia pays for finders finding uh, treasures. So, if you find something, please bring it. We'll pay. Wow, you just sell poison. Experiments. It's all kinds right. of everything. Oh. Make sure you put it back where you found it, though. Can I buy a bunch of these paints? And Ryan's gonna walk over. We're just like a bunch of jars of paint. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get one of each. That's okay. Oh, these colorful coatings? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't read what they do. They just look colorful. Yeah, feel free to buy them from his uh, from the shop. Yeah, right. the, the main things that uh, are on the list that Charles got are all things that would comprise an alchemist lab. So he's going to buy all the components needed for that. That'll allow him to, to craft alchemical items during downtime. 
All right. Uh, you need an alchemy lab. All right. Here, I'll, I'll throw one on in. So you can use the money. You can just spend the money. Alchemy lab. Sorry, how, how much gold did the uh, Zokan give us? Total 44. 44. He knows there's ones like on the on the campus to be used, but uh, he wants one in his ring. Maybe. All right, there should be one for sale now in the equipment, an alchemy lab. Excellent. Five GP, and he'll have he'll have like a couple of them in here. Do you just drag it from the sheet onto your sheet to buy it, right? You know, once you open them up, there should be a, uh, uh, there should be like a little buy button. And there's not. There isn't. Yeah, I was able to drag, and then it, I asked you how, like, how many you want to buy, and okay. then. Yeah, just drag it straight. Up. Okay. We okay, yeah, I guess that works too. Yeah, it worked for me at least that way. I know when we do it in in Soggy, I there's actually a little buy button. Uh, as you guys are kind of shopping around, he does say, uh, uh, Powder Pilot closes, uh, at sunset. Where's the sun at currently? Let me, uh, time forward. Yeah, you guys will probably be, like, around, almost around lunchtime now. Oh, um... Sir, um, person shopkeep, um, Zulkan. 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 Um, do you know where I could purchase a poly tool? A poly tool? Mm hmm. He thinks for a second. Hmm. Hmm. I can order order one. It will take some time to show up. All right. Do I pay now or later? Later. All right. Thank you. Right, uh, but yeah, I have he, he, his thing is now inside the. Uh, there should be like a folder called Magambia Shops in the Actors tab, mm. so you can always just use him to buy stuff. Use that to buy stuff while you're on campus. Excellent. Yeah. What did, did you did you guys buy anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look in the look in the chat. There's stuff. There's a lot of stuff been being being bought. Uh -huh. well, Charo bought uh, interesting alchemical items that he hadn't seen before. So there's a lot of items. I'm just like going through them. Like, what is? Andre bought <laughs> paint and ten bottles of alcohol. <laughs> what do these colorful coatings do that you're all picking them up for? One, oh, this one over here. This one can melt things with acid. Oh, and, oh shoot! And I this was... one over here turns a, a surface into rubber. So if we jump down on it, we don't take any fall damage. Oh, wow. Uh, Vanji, you might need this. Huh? Looking at your 10 bottles of alcohol. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, that's wow. a good point. That's a good point. Pick that up. Addiction suppressant. Mm. I should probably bring this on my next day. This is a drug. <laughs> hmm? He's selling it's drugs. So, so <laughs> what? What's I'm, a drug? I'm looking at this thing called Shiver. Yeah. No, that's, no, that's no. It's drug. for experiments. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I just saw the drug tag. Yeah. I'm just so like, I'm just picking drugs up work. colorful bottles and looking at them, putting them back. So, speaking about drugs, the way drugs work in this is that um, you can voluntarily fail the uh, the saving throw and be affected by the first stage of the 
the drug, which usually is a benefit. Any stages after that are usually a penalty. But anytime you, you fail, whether willingly or not, the first stage of a drug, you also have to roll, um, to, again, fortitude to not be addicted. Mm -hmm. And addiction has is a completely other disease effect that um, has a lot of negatives on it. So where, just where be is careful. This, where is this addiction suppressant in his shop? Is it not in there? It's it's above the colorful coats of paint. Yeah, right above the it's, 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 yeah, it's in a red bottle. I see it. Let me just pick up like four of those. <laughs> My gosh. Just, just in case. Just in case. You know. oh, this is a healing bullet. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to blow all my money. There's a right lot. Now. There's a lot of good <laughs> Already. stuff in here. So, uh, this also keep in mind that every month you you guys will get four gold from Zoltan. Mm -hmm. Alright, I spent like 40 gold. I think I should stop. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> you spent all your money for the whole month already? Well, that was the initial stipend. What if you have to pay for food? We're not gonna... We won't have to pay for food. <laughs> as, yeah, as he turns, it says, uh, uh, well, if, as long as you're only eating two times a day, you don't have to pay for food. What do you mean Ooh. only two times a day? <laughs> what do you mean? That... <laughs> you know that's me. that's rough, Wait. Anji. <laughs> what? What about what? second practice? <laughs> what about second practice? Yeah. Oh, you have to pay for it. Oh, that's scary. why. That's why you get four gold. You get four gold a, a month. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want, maybe, uh, maybe you Stop. could do, maybe you could work in the kit, work at the, uh, the dining. When we go to the dining hall, you'll meet, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Yao, and, uh, maybe you can work, work for her sometimes. Get some more money if you need. Is, is that an earning income? Is that what yes. the DM is telling us? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty, did you see the staff of Earth? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it just like made of rocks? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the staff. It lets you um, cast uh, Pummeling Rubble and Scatter Scree. And you get a plus one circumstance bonus to resist being shoved or knocked prone. Ooh, he's just looking at it with big eyes. <laughs> uh, it's a bit pricey, though. It's a bit big. Uh, Do match so items... Tholkan, do, do you have this in a smaller size, with maybe made of stone? Well, with magical staffs, they sort of uh, change with with person who uh, invests in them, right? Oh. Now, it says here you can cast a cantrip. Does that expend charges, or do you just get that cantrip? You just can use that cantrip. Oh. I assume you already have that cantrip, though, don't you, Dusty? Uh, he, he can look around sheep to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. No. I can make rocks move. Char. Sometimes. <laughs> Char makes his way to the front of the store, and he's got a he's got a sack filled with six uh, six bulk worth of the the supplies <laughs> he did to make the alchemist lab. So. Oh my gosh. There is, uh, test tubes and speakers and Bunsen burners and stuff. Uh, it, it's six bulk and, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely struggling. Uh, yeah, he's, he's encumbered. He's encumbered. Yeah. He's, he's two bulk away from being heavily encumbered. <laughs> Plus he just gets out of the uh, way. All right. Um, as you guys are getting ready to, to head out, Sulkin said, uh, he out and says, before you go, here. And you can see that he laid out uh, more sacks on mm. on the table for you guys to pick up. Uh, these contain. Uh, let's see here. He says uh, these are uh, initial school supplies: parchment, quills, and ink. Uh, yeah, sorry, he throws them on top. Yeah, you guys can. Yeah, you can add a writing set to your. Uh, to your uh, inventory. 
if you didn't have one already. All right. As he says, are you guys uh, ready to go? He looks at you, Tucharo, and uh, gives you a, a small, uh, small smile and says, uh, "I think you might need to go back to the dorm before you head over to the uh, anywhere else, anywhere else." Yes, that would be a good idea. I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's let's get going. Mm. Pops umbrella. Are struggling. What's the uh, what are the effects of being uh, encumbered here? Uh, you are you're you're clumsy one, and your speed is reduced by ten. Oh man. Okay, so we're moving a a dainty fifteen. So it's per uh, <laughs> per. Uh... All right. I'll take you guys back to the. Does anybody else need, need everybody else good? To go? Yeah. I mean, uh, role role play wise, I think anybody who would notice uh lotus she has the she has sort of the the body language demeanor of a person who has never had this much money to spend and is afraid to spend any of it like she picks up everything looks at it real hard sets it down picks it back up sets it down moves on to the next item like overthinking everything and in the end purchasing nothing all right, Lotus, go ahead and give me a diplomacy check. Secret. Oh, okay. As you're getting ready to head out. All right. Uh, diplomacy secret. Okay. All right, I'll take you guys back to the uh, uh, campus map. All righty. Uh, this is now visible here. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong. T- it's the wrong token. Let me pull out the right token. That's perfect. Okay. We have Zokan at home. <laughs> this is this is shop Zokan, so you can always click on him even at this in this on this map. Don't mess with the Zokan. Nice. All right. So uh, she says, well, I was going to take you guys to around and maybe show you some more of the buildings, but it looks like she learned turns it to Charo. Maybe we just head back to the uh, dormitory. Um, are you guys hungry? We can, after we okay. stop by the dormitory, we can get to the, the dining hall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. If you want to continue this... the tour, don't let me hold you up. I can head back and you can keep going. The dining hall is on the way. I mean, the the dorm is on the way to the dining hall, anyways. Well, if you all are going that way, anyway, I would not say no to help. Yeah, I was <laughs> just about to ask if you wanted any help. All right. Thank start you, col- he's just start collecting things that drop off the top of the pile. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, try and put them back on. Yeah, Jar, he'll hand you another another sack to catch anything that falls out of the, the main. As you guys uh, kind of come down the path towards the Spire Dormitory, you do see uh, uh, someone above the Spire Dormitory on like a hang glider, hang glider flying towards the Whistling Tower. What? <laughs> They're doing that in the rain? Yes. <laughs> Dangerous. Oh no. This, this is going to be the cool kid. <laughs> uh, as you guys kind of pass by and like, you know, as he notices you guys looking up, up there and seeing it, uh, she uh, sighs and says, "That's probably Habram." Habram? Where can I yeah, get Habram. one of those? <laughs> no, just talk to Habram. He probably, he'll probably, if you if you say you want to do something like that, he'll for sure get you set up. There oh. <laughs> so that's who lives across from me. He's really high up. Yeah, he's about a hundred. He's about uh, about eighty feet up in the air. And he uh, flying towards the whistling tower. All right, well, go ahead and uh, you know, drop off your stuff uh, to Charo. Nice, I appreciate. All 
All right. So there, guys, head towards the dining hall. And I'll take you guys over to this map too. Let me go ahead and uh, pull out Nancy uh, since she's with you guys. And now you guys kind of arrive a little bit uh, around, you know, a little bit after lunch. So we'll say you're about, you know, one thirty now. And um, so the the hall is kind of packed. Uh, let me go ahead and. You have a map for the cafeteria. Yes, I do. Wow. I actually, I actually, I actually put it in the, in the server. Uh, you know, when I first made it too, on the map, in the map, map thing, because it's very. Uh, oh, I remember. Honestly, that. it kind of it looks kind of Greek. Uh, let me see here. Where's the? Where's Essie's token? There it is. Essie, and uh, just throw out some random students real quick. All right, and then I'll take you guys over to this map. I love the colors. Goodness, there's so many windows. Yeah, there's a lot of windows. Oh, sorry. Is it still raining pretty good? Yeah, it is still raining. Okay. Is it a you would warm not be rain off guard. or a cold rain? Yeah, it's a warm rain. Oh, did that store sell umbrellas? I didn't see any umbrellas in the... Uh... She gave you umbrellas. She gave, you, gave all of you umbrellas. Like, gave us to keep? Well, she said if you felt like returning it, you could. Oh... Well, that puts pressure on me. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to have one. My that's. I don't have to think about. Why didn't they sell umbrellas at the store? Mm. Like I said, they they sell all adventuring gear up to level three. So yes, they would sell umbrellas. They would sell umbrellas. Most umbrellas for. How much is an umbrella? Uh, five copper. Okay. I'll buy two umbrellas then, please. Mm -hmm. There's, there's no item made for him, so go ahead. <gasps> right, as you come, so, as you come in, except two umbrellas. The the Magambia Dining Hall is a is a large kitchen warm facility with handsome mosaics and plenty of seating. Um, so most uh, you can kind of tell that you know people have like come in, picked up their food, and are kind of sitting down inside now. Um, uh, you, on your way in, you did see there was a lot of seating outside as well, but it seems to be all empty because of the rain. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, you can see the person that seems to be managing the place is this lady down here as uh, Essie comes in and, and greets uh, this lady here. She says, uh, Hello, uh, Miss Yao. Uh, and then she says, come on, Essie, just call me Lumusi. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, we have new students, new initiates. They just start, this is the first day. Uh, I brought them here so that you can give them the, uh, rundown of the dining hall. And, uh, she kind of, like, leans forward on the, uh, the thing and tells, tells you guys to come, come close. She kind of, like, moves across over here at you. Bonji and kind of like points and he says, don't touch anything. Come over here first. <laughs> Yelling over at you, uh, Bonji. I'm sorry, I had to deafen up. myself. I wasn't actually listening. I was chewing gorgeous food. What is, what is this, uh, what is this pair here? I want to show us something. She's, yeah, oh, she wow, said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the, on your, the lady. Get your attention. You're probably like, drooling over the food. Listen, I'm. I want the food so bad. I'm so hungry. Well, yeah, I talk to her first. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, 
the way this works is uh, I'm the head cook here, uh, Lemusi Yao. You can just call me Lemusi. Um, see here. I welcome you. Welcome you to my uh, domain. This is my house. My rules. Whatever I say here goes. Okay. Okay. He looks at all of you until and, and is waiting for each of you to, to either nod oh. or say okay. Okay. Looking at looking at Bonji. What? What do you keep looking at me for? <laughs> Bonji looking at the food. <laughs> what? What? Is that? Have I made myself clear? Uh. It's her house. She say? she makes the food. Oh, you make the food. I'm the head. Mm, I'm the head. <laughs> this one's oh, going to be no. trouble. Oh no, it's doing the temples thing for her time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one's going to be trouble. Look <laughs> here. I've never seen, seen their type before. <laughs> Look here. This is this is the dining hall. I'm the head chef. This place is my domain. And it, my rules, my house, my food. Is that clear? Yeah. Can we, okay. We're, we're allowed to. We can like, eat the food, right? We're allowed to do that. Bonji, she just said it was her food, so no, you can't have any of the food in here. But there's so much of it. I'm sorry, that's the rules. Now, if you want to eat, there's a, a process to this. So let me go through this for you. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all. As students here, as long as you stay within good standing with Mugambia, you get two free meals a day. The uh, uh, dining hall opens um, in the morning at sunrise and closes at sunset. If you're not if you're not here for your two meals between those that time, you don't get anything. That clear? She looks like each of each one of you. Yes, ma'am. Nods. Is there some other place to eat if we can't make it to the this place? Out in the town. Oh. No. Okay. How late are you open? She rubs her temples again. Oh, just said sunset. Oh, that's not very late for an eating establishment. I thought maybe lunch closed at sunset. The same time as the school store. Can you take food with you? How much once, can you once, take, like, eat at a time? Once, it's like an open buffet once, twice per day? Once or? you get your meal, yeah. it's not. It's out of my hands and it's your food at that, that point. You do what you want with it. Uh, do you ever have people fill up a bag of holding with as much food as they can? If you're willing to pay, sure. Oh, that doesn't count as your free meal? Your free meal is one meal. I determine what that meal is. Oh. <laughs> like yeah. I said, my my house, my rules, my food. Mm. Can we have some of your food now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she look, she uh, looks out the window and says, huh? And then looks at your... Uh, your uh, bracelet and it says not yet she steps back here you get her food. steps inside here comes around here he's starving us comes out with a with a with a sack and then puts beads out on the table for each of you to get and i'm gonna uh throw these beads on your uh uh what you call it inventories and they the given bead. these beads out like candy do you have actual candy? Or no? Is it all vegetables and fruits? Actually, here. Let me, uh... Uh... I'll open up her shop, too. Uh, she does say, uh... If at any point you guys are hard up on money, uh, I do employ students sometimes, so wait tables and, uh, clean the place here. So, uh, if you have downtimes outside of your studies and you need a job, and I'm, and, you know, I like you, I'll let you work. Can I have a job? I don't know if I like you yet. 
All right, her shop is is in the is uh in the Magambia shop thing too. She has a wisdom to her. Oh wait, she has a shop, you say? Yeah, in the uh, in the Magambia shop tab. I actually you know I'll drag her out. So I don't know if we had do we have access. Wait, to that why didn't turn to a Zolkin? Huh? I don't know if we have access to that tab. Am I blind? Oh, you don't. We uh, got dorm, dorm and party. Okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. Make observers. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cooperative Ooh. waffles. Yep, waffles. Mm. <laughs> Cooperative waffles. Mangoes. <laughs> figs. So, uh, the fruit uh, they, counts They as... eat these waffles in, um, in high noon a lot. <laughs> really? My God. Yeah. Um, five gold? Well, yes. an alchemist can actually take that as one of their daily preparations. <laughs> they can make you waffles, is there? Oh, one of their oh, daily preparations. You could do anything hey, pass. Follow, follow the experts actually pretty good, I, I found out, when a group actually all succeeded on uh, a sneak uh, exploration because they used follow the, follow the expert. So one thing to keep in mind, the fruit, like bananas and plums and stuff like that, they count as one-use rations, but they don't have any weight. Ah. Huh. Okay, that seems Wonderful. really good. Even the watermelons have no weight? No, the watermelon is light. Oh. It counts as three rations, though. I'm buying all the plums. They don't expire either? They're just magical? Um, they do expire, actually. As soon as yes. you rest. Like <laughs> Wait, how, how long do they last before I buy 30 plums? Uh, they <laughs> last... Uh, uh, Two weeks. All right. Oh, the auric noodles. You can when you eat them, you can get a plus one to identifying stuff. Why is mm -hmm. the mango so much more expensive than the plum? Are they both the same nutritional value? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Time. I can weaponize these bananas later in a social encounter. So we'll get these. Oh no, there's more alcohol. <laughs> Listen, I'm going by back. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you worried about your character? Is your character going to become an alcoholic? No, I'm worried for Vanji. Uh oh. Bought a watermelon. <laughs> I like how it has three uses. It's, it's wait, wait, like... how is the coffee a drug? I mean, you get addicted to it. Coffee, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's the only thing that a uh, Chara buys is a couple of bags of cup. Alright. I'm not hungry. I'm gonna buy... You know, Takara, I've tried to tell you, ca caffeine and coffee and all of that, it's, it's an illusion. Lifestyle. That's how you make it happen. You don't need chemicals to solve all your problems. You need routine. <laughs> I routinely inject <laughs> chemicals. <laughs> I'm just saying, tomorrow morning, I'll get you out of bed, 4:30 a.m. And we'll do some, uh, we'll do some hot yoga. 4:30. You do yoga lotus. As he turns towards you. Mm. Is, is, is that, what? Sorry, I, you, I z z zoned out for a second. You do yoga? Oh, yes. Oh, maybe you can, you, uh, me, and Nox Solo can, can do some in the morning. We usually go, we usually work out in the morning as well. Oh, um, yeah, that'd be great. Do you have a good spot for it? I like to yes. bask in the sun afterwards. We sometimes we do it by the lake outside the, uh, the dormitory, or there's a there's a really nice spot by the uh, um, sparring fields, or uh, by the speaker stage. The speaker ah, stage is really nice. Excellent. Where's the best place on campus for um, perineum sunning? Probably outside the uh, um, circle. Mm. 
Excellent. You hear that, Tagaro? Well, you're not, you won't enjoy it until like the third or fourth week, really. The, re the, the first two weeks is just torment. Then your body and your mind sort of give up. You abandon hope and you find a, a peace. I will consider it. Perhaps, and the Tara looks uh, a shalia. Perhaps you could bring a shalia on this excursion. Certainly. You seem fit. You want to do some yoga with us? No. He looks um, at you apologetically. Oh well, yeah, that sounds great. It's it's good to keep one's body uh, focused. Right. Yoga so well, does this work like a normal cafe? Like you get like a tray, you go. Pick yeah, like you, you get your, you, you pick a, and... yeah, yeah, you can pick a meal. You can go. Uh, uh, you know, over here, there's people picking out uh, fruits and stuff like that, and then and them, you know, taking them to their seat and sitting down. Mm -hmm. uh, What's oh, my what's, what's my read with this uh, cantrip? Uh, uh, are these are these people like? I mean, is she really watching? Could you sneak some fruit into your bag? Like, oh, these are, people are, are walking up, picking a fruit, and heading back to their seats. Uh huh. And there's no issue. There seems to be no issue with them just picking up a fruit and heading out. Mm -hmm. And it, as you're like looking at it, she turns towards you and says, "Those out here, if it's open, you can grab one and go." Oh, but the real meals, the meals from uh, Lumusi's uh, kitchen, they, they are served here at the counter. Mm -hmm. mm. You can place an order and sit down and someone can bring it out to you, too. Yes, I would like seafood. All right, well, we might have to come back another day because right now what we have is. <laughs> Let me open up my food document real quick. Can I get the menu for today blue? is. <laughs> I got a watermelon. Anyone want to share a watermelon? Oh, I'll share a watermelon. Uh, today's uh, meal is. Um, it's called uh, Vito. Let me just make sure I get this right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh It's like a fried donut with uh, uh, minced meat, seasoned minced meat inside of it. But uh, and I have, I'll show you a little picture. Mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds pretty picture. good. Yeah. Oh. Guys, I'm having a realization I haven't had dinner yet. Very suddenly. My <laughs> <laughs> little sliders. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, well, um, let's eat up. Those of you who, who do not eat meat, we do have a uh, bean and uh, plant based variant as well. Looks around. Does anyone get the vegetarian? Uh, can I can I have the vegetarian? Sure. Uh, she then uh, pulls out a uh, a uh, handkerchief that is the color uh, green. It says, "Take this to your seat and lay it out there, and they'll bring your your food will come out once it's ready." Oh. Tachara buys a, a mango, tries to hand it to to Noodle. Oh, you would try to hand it to Noodle, but your hand is not, you know, it's already out of your hand by the time you, like, even give Noodle a modicum of attention. <laughs> he knows the drill. You gotta pay the Noodle tax. And uh, he follows everybody else down. Oh, chipping out some coffee. Oh, do you guys want to sit the window seat over there? Hey, every seat's a window seat. <laughs> yeah, but, like... Just, uh, is it, is this like Lotus, a... Lotus is going to take a chair from this table and bring it over to this table. Alright. Cool. Is, is this like a... 
Is it just like one like giant room? Is it like a secondary like level? Yeah, it's one giant room. One giant room. Dusty carries the big melody pot. And restrooms are over here. Nice. Mm, he was brave enough to go check out the, the state of affairs in there in the bath. <laughs> well, I do need to wash my hands before I eat. Hmm. So far, so good. There's no <laughs> washcloths. And it doesn't look like we have to stare at each other while we go to the bathroom. That's good. And they never see Lotus again. <laughs> she, she just <laughs> gone. Roll. She gets right. attacked by walking off the, the door locked. <laughs> He's cursed. Dusty, Dusty puts the vanilla on the table. Uh, goes wash his hands too. Noodle approaches the table where the melon is placed. So, when do you guys think we're gonna, like, start our classes and stuff? Is that tomorrow? I believe that was tomorrow, yes. So we got uh, a full you, day. As you mentioned that, Essie says, well, tomorrow's the start of your, pre your prerequisite, so we're oh. gonna be giving you tasks to do. Chores. And is there anything that you can share about these tasks? Well, uh, all I'll tell, tell you is that uh, each one, you'll do one each day, and each one is going to be themed off of each branch of the Magambia. Do we have to complete them in, within the, the day that they are assigned, or what if they take longer? Well, hopefully it doesn't take that long, because the next day will be the next assignment. What? Oh, that's crap. <laughs> it's like, damn, Dom went all out on this. As you walk out, Lotus, this lady turns towards you and says, you're not even going to wash your hands? I did wash my hands. I don't have a sound effect for everything. <laughs> it's called theater of the mind. What is with this school and bathrooms? She just, she turns towards you, uh, uh, Dusty, and says, "The nerves of some of these students." I'm a new student. I just oh, got here. well, see. All right, well, welcome. You're a uh, initiate, then. She looks at your bracelet. Yes, I should. I put my hand. Have you done your prerequisite high. yet? No. Oh, you're probably going to start that uh, this week then. Well, good luck. Thank you. Noodle, did you take Dusty's chair? It's un unbelievable. No, no. <laughs> Dusty's very sensitive. Uh, she's going to run and grab another chair and like tuck it in before, hopefully before Dusty gets back. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. They probably don't even notice that the dog's sitting there. Does Noodle move to that new chair? <laughs> God damn it. He definitely tries. Uh... Classic dog. He tries to straddle <laughs> both of them. <laughs> lays down, lays down across them. Oh man, true dog. Okay. The char will scoot That's over nice. so you can share his... <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he carefully tries to get this melon open. Great. These prerequisites, what sort of tasks have been, I don't know, been done in the past? Uh, they range from, from a variety of things, but they're all they're all themed after the, uh, the branches. So if you know about the branches, you can probably figure out how to complete each task. But that's going to be for tomorrow. Uh, for now, we should focus on how we're gonna throw a big party tonight to celebrate all of us getting accepted into the Gambian. Um, well, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you'll meet everybody else on the, in the dorm. Oh, that'll be exciting. Meet everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's speaking about that, and she kind of like looks out the window. Um, I'm supposed to meet... Um, I'm gonna... I have to go for a bit. Um, 
if you ever need anything, my door is always uh, open, so just feel free to knock. And uh, uh, I hope to see you guys later to uh, later night, so we can uh, you know welcome all of you. Oh, it was right. nice to meet you. you. So we'll see you later. Yeah, nice to meet you too. See you later. Oh, did you want melon? As she comes back, and uh, we'll take a slice of melon if you nice. offer. Yes. Right. Right. Whole melon. It, it. She takes it, uh, takes a bite out of it, and then uh, with a little bit of food still in her mouth, she says, Thanks, Dusty. Continues walking. Okay. Yeah. And she kind of like walks uh, past uh, here. Uh, one person uh, kind of like uh, uh, calls out to her and says, uh, uh, tries to get her attention. I don't know if anybody wants to pay attention to what's going on here, but this person over here tries to pay, tries to call her attention. With a mouthful of melon, look over. And I perception, I assume? If you want to, if you want to try and, it's, it's a bit hard, but if you want to try and hear throughout the, the mess of oh, the, the uh, yeah, yeah, okay. The reason I ask is we really gotta learn this sheet and how to do one. It'll be a go. it'll be a seek. Yeah. Oh, a seek. Whoops. Yeah, Oops. it's okay. Percent check's the same thing. Um, yeah, you know if you if you pass or not. Uh, let me check here. Uh, okay, so yeah, you do kind of get get something from here. Uh, it seems uh, 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 this person um, is asking. Uh, 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 Essie, if she has some time uh, this uh, um, Sunday. She's free this Sunday. Oh. Uh, she she kind of turns towards um, Melanson Han, um, now swallowed, and uh, says that uh, uh, she has to pause for a second and says, I think so. Um, but do you need something? And uh, he says, uh, well, there's a place in Nantambu that I was thinking uh, we should probably go and check out. I know you said you, you're interested in that restaurant. Um, the Black Crown? I feel, you know, I can, I can take you. And she says, okay, well, we'll see. I'll talk to you on, on Sunday. She gets, she gets going. Okay, yeah, just I guess Dusty just focuses on that for just a second, what happened, and then just kind of is looking around the room, just munching on melon. You look he runs back. back. It's really Your melon has a big, uh, big bite taken out of it. Oh, okay. You're not sure if it was by Vanji or Noodle. <laughs> they're, they're both sitting next to each other, <laughs> <laughs> sheepishly. I don't know. I, maybe I don't notice that. I don't know. <laughs> he just keeps eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's uh, going yeah. back for more melon because it just keeps disappearing so fast. Char <laughs> sets his coffee down and Noodle just like downs half of it. <laughs> wow. Char picks it back up and he drinks it uh, as if nothing uh, out of the ordinary is that. You know, he's a he's a ghost. It's not like he has germs, you know? Like, he's like a very clean ghost dog, so, you know. I'm just going to say we just devoured the smell of all of us. You stuff. <laughs> so, this lady shows up. Exhausted watermelon. With your uh, with your food, and lays it all out for you. It looks like she's getting some flambe action going or something. Oh, like is that, that her? That's is her, that her hair. hair. Oh, that's so that's her cool. Oh, uh, because she's one of the dwarves. Yeah. Ooh. Does she do the salt bay thing? <laughs> yeah, she does. She doing. She she does as she, as she like comes over and lays everything out. She then uh, does the salt the salt bay thing on your on your on your food. Wonderful. It says, all right, she'll be ready now. Enjoy. I also thought it was like fire for a second, then I realized, oh, wow, that's so cool. Can't get over it. And our first, our first meal as, as students at Magambia Gang. All right. So there's a really pressing matter we need to talk about, though, of utter importance. Mm -hmm. What's that? We're a cohort. We're, what are we going to be called? We need like a fancy cohort name. Cohort. Oh, just call call the cohort. Oh. 
maybe through the trials that we face and the prerequisites, we will come up with something. Mm. Gotta keep a lookout. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably come to us. Um, you know, we're still getting to know each other. I, where's everyone from? Looks across the table at, like, Totoro and uh, Dusty. Well, as you know, I am Totoro Nusinda. I hail from Sengor, where my family has a trading company that manages several of the imports and exports throughout the Mwangi extent. He's a rich guy. He owns a really big house on the water and it has like 20 floors and like 50 rooms. Well, it is my parents' house, but they do let me stay. It's like on the water. It's like a boathouse. You made a house on water? How'd you do that? Yeah. Oh, I... It has a very nice library. Um. Some caves in a valley. It's big rocks. But I don't remember where it is. Oh, so you're like from the, the jungle then? No, there are big mountains. We like point I accidentally I accidentally fell off a cart. That's why I'm here now. I don't remember. That's some unfortunate rock. Yeah. Do you know where the That's cart was headed? To the big city. That city. He points out the window. Damn boom. And then I met Lotus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lotus uh, stops staring blankly out the window. Uh, her food barely eaten. And uh, it says, yes, it was a nice day. And you gave me a delicious looking rock uh, to commemorate the occasion. How about you? Uh, points, back, points back to... Uh, Shalia, who initiated. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, keep the pressure on her. Good idea. <laughs> um, my family, well, we live outside of Senhor also. I thinking back, do I know of Tatarol's uh, family? Dom? Huh? Would I know of Tatarol's family? Uh, with your, uh, your sailing, sailing uh, lore yeah. there? Um, probably no. no. Maybe you guys didn't run run into the same type of uh thing. That's, uh, that's maybe you were hurt. Yeah, there's lots of ships. I uh, can't say I've ever heard of you, Totoro. I'm sorry, but there's a lot of big merchant families uh, in Sinhar. There's no issue. I've stripped to. Make a name for myself beyond just my family. Yeah, I mostly just hanged out with the chipper race. Like a small merchant ship. What, what about you, Lotus? Since you since you want to talk, where are you from? Mm -hmm. where, where are you from? I'm from Osirian. Is that nearby? <laughs> That's uh, way up north, Vanji. They have pyramids. It's, it's a bit far, um, but it's it's no longer home to me. Why? Oh, because you came here now. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. 
yes um there's just nothing there's just nothing there for me anymore no future and no past worth speaking of that's to give lotus an appreciative nod it's, it's knowing he's not Were the pyramids late. cool uh, it is rather beautiful. Uh, she she shows you like a sketch from her uh, illegal waterproof journal. <laughs> oh, do you draw? Wow. Oh wow! Did you that get is... the pages like this? They're so smooth. Uh, well. <laughs> Dump some coffee. Look, it just rolls right off. It is quite unique. Yes. Um, don't worry about the details of all of that. Did you did you draw that? Uh, well, yeah, I, just to accentuate my notes. That's um. so cool. Can you draw something? Uh, what, what would you like me to draw? Uh, noodle. Uh, all right. Uh, DM, do I have to make a crafting check? I have a plus seven. If you want to, yeah. Oh, man, I, I really don't. Can I just dial it in and give a DC 17 drawing of noodle to them? <laughs> I really get that insurance. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can give him a D. Yeah, I mean, you you're trying to give him a D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to, if you want to give a D. Oh wait, do I have that? to? Have, do I have to have insurance to do that? <laughs> it's a like, it's a like thing. All right, fine. I'll, I'll dial it in. All right, all right. Sure thing. You tell me. Ever, everyone loves being asked to draw something by. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in the middle yeah, of lunch. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting some revenge out right now? Uh, all right, all right. Here we go. I guess you didn't cast Read the Room. Nah. All right. Uh, yes, here. And she, in like five minutes, draws like, uh, uh, like a Jack's French Girl uh, charcoal sketch of Noodle. He, he looks at it, Noodle loves, and he like barks like he wants it. Mm. Uh, oof. She, uh, she closes her eyes, and then she tears the page out and gives it to Noodle. He bites it, and he walks away. Okay. His drool rolls right off the pages. Mm -hmm. it's <laughs> you, you get feelings from Nessa, uh, uh, Lotus, saying, uh, very nice. Uh, turning around, seeing Noodle run this day, you do see there's a crowd of... Uh, of ladies uh, crowding after this one uh, guy behind him as he orders <laughs> something from the uh, um, from the lunch from the counter. Oh, look Ooh. at this guy! Another popular yeah. kid. Uh, they were, you know, so as they like kind of ran over, they're like, "Oh, uh, teacher Ms. Uh, Mizutani, teacher Mizutani." That's what you keep hearing. And I'll show you his art. I'm gonna make a Mugambi a lord chick. <laughs> Uh, must be doing a special for lunch. There's a lot of people over there. Cool. Oh, oh, oh boy. Also, Lotus, uh, go ahead and give me a uh, society uh, recall knowledge as well. Oh, recall knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Vanji, you recognize this as teacher uh, 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 Ism Mizutani. Uh, they are a. a um, Nephilim, um, human Nephilim teacher, a very famous uh, uh, archaeologist. Um, if this guy, uh, did you throw this guy's art up or no? Yeah, that, that, uh, is that okay. it? You see it? There it is. I see it. I see it. Uh, you, you do see that he uh, is, you know, very clean shaven, uh, you know, no, no pupils that glow, sort of glow, and he has falcon wings. As he walks in, uh, he, as he kind of like walks in, you can kind of see that he is a uh, very, uh, he's handled himself really well with the crowd of, of people following him, uh, managing him really well and coming over to order his food. Um, uh, from what you know about him, let me, as you, uh, you see here. All right. Um, he's half, uh, Andorian, half, uh, Gurundi. So, you know, half the other part of the continent, half this continent. Um, adventure. He's, he's actually a famous adventurer slash archaeologist. 
um, who is kind of a local celebrity. Flat, flash the... supermodel slash local oh, celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, yeah, yeah. I know this character what? archetype. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, who uh, is uh, pretty much a local celebrity here in the Mogambia. Um, from what you know, uh, Vanji and Lotus, let me see here. Um, you, so Lotus, uh, you, re- you notice that, you know that this guy, he has, he was a little bit famous in Osiris at some point as well, too. Oh. Uh, Vanji, you know, uh, maybe you, because you've been wanting to learn about the, uh, uh, Magambia so much and when you know this guy is pretty pretty famous uh in the Mwangi expanse uh you know a great deal about about him um he is uh famous for his uh um um Avesti scholarly circles for his expeditions in Osirian and uh um uh, Jiskan uh ruins so he, he you know he's found he's done a lot of archaeology work in Osirian and Jiskan um but uh, one thing you do know is you you, you know twenty year Mugambi Lord check oh, is uh, um, that he is also has uh, he's also working at the Mugambia because he is on the run from authorities in Mazali. Oh, I I do relate all of this to the party as we're kind of just staring at him. I just like uh, right. some of the things he's famous for. Uh, he knows a crap ton of languages. Uh, uh, he uh, banished a major demon what in a village. Uh, he uh, <laughs> he uh, mastered he mastered uh, you know he also masters rock climbing in his spare time. Rocks. Uh, Wait, he likes rocks. Uh, he likes rocks. Yeah, he likes rocks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he's uh, known for um, you know, doing uh, uh, party tricks that has to do with writing. Wait a minute, he's got wings uh, and he likes rock climbing. Yes. Calligraphy. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. <laughs> yep. uh, but yeah, he's curr- he, he's currently at um, here because of he was in an expedition in Mazali and he got in trouble. So he's he's on the he's on the run from the authorities from Mazali. <laughs> Gosh, man. <laughs> he's wanted. I thought for sh- almost thought he could do no wrong. There there's for a so moment. much. There's so much. There's so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Vanya just lists it all like it's he's reading up information. You just read it out while you just tell everyone that yeah. at the table. Okay. You, you just buy, unload yeah. the fan club. Yeah. Vanji, how do you know so much about this guy? Also, I'm not sure, but I've heard that Nephil- Nephilims, whatever they are, um, they must be very powerful to have wings like that. Uh, but based on everything that you've said, he, he sounds incredible. I mean, I I don't know. I know it. He's just over there. You know, I feel yeah. like you know you hear things in the Tampa. Mm. He. Oh, you also know that he is part of the Rain Scribes. Rain Scribe. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> there, there she goes. <laughs> She's on a mission. What is she doing? She's on a mission. Let her cook. All right. She's just gonna hip check all these uh, hangers on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, they, they, they this, this lady. Looks at you, Ooh, and uh, oh. as you try and hip check, hip, hip check her, I need you to give me an athletic check. <laughs> she oh your dang! One hand. She's got big hips. <laughs> all right, all right. But... Let's see. She got a post. It says, "I love many times." I'm trained in athletics, but I'm five foot two. So let's give it. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Yeah. You hip check her. All right. Ooh. Uh, and then I say, uh, oh, "Hello there. Um, are you new on campus?" Uh, he smiles and says, "No, but I, I expect you are." I am. I, my friends and I are looking for other new students to sort of uh, experience the campus together today. It, you just seem so fresh-faced, and well, um, I, I just thought maybe you were also new. Uh, well, if you're looking for students, there's plenty of them around here. But me, uh, 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 I'm a teacher. A teacher? Are you sure? Are you you just don't seem the stuffy enough to be a professor? Uh, he uh, uh, um, kind of uh, his face kind of the smile kind of fades a little bit and then comes back, and he says, "Uh, well, uh, being a teacher doesn't necessarily mean stuffy, and uh, hopefully, uh." 
since you're new, you'll see that many of the teachers here are very different from what you might expect uh, uh, teachers are. Oh, well, if you're a teacher, um, you must know a lot about the campus. So do, could you possibly give us a, a tour if you're free? After your lunch, of course. Uh, he looks. He looks at you. Looks at the rest of them, and then and then you can see that uh, for a moment he like, as he like looks at the rest of the people and then looks out the door. Uh, you can see his face. Uh, his eyes go wide, and uh, uh, you can see that he says, uh, um, uh, uh, so "Sorry, I I I need to be someplace uh, right now." And he kind of like jumps and like kind of float flies over the flies over everybody. And uh, begins to run, uh, you know, rush out the door. To run. Uh, following him, oh, following yeah. him, Lotus. Uh, like his, your gaze, you see that he's running towards what it looks like to be a, another lady who seems to be walking with Essie. Mm. Okay. Uh, the lady that you see him running towards. Uh, is this lady? Uh, she looks pretty serious. Yeah. Yeah. Her last name is all capital letters, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's oh, very I think serious. that's um, she's really important. Oh, we don't know. Her. We don't know them yet. But... Uh, she. Uh, he runs. He runs up to her. Uh, and you can see that he's uh trying to greet her. And looking at him, uh, Lotus, you can tell that his like cool, deme uh, like cool uh, manner is mm. uh, is shattered when he's uh, talking to this person. Mm. All right, and they continue walking. All right, she looks at unfulfilled attendant and says, uh, "Well, there's always a bigger fish, isn't there?" Uh, and then gives her a a <laughs> less aggressive hip hip bump as she walks by. She, as you kind of like pass by, he says, uh, it's probably Telenok. And everybody knows he, uh, Mr. Tani loves her. Oh, I see. Except, except her, probably. And then they all kind of like sigh and they like, go back to their seats. Hmm. Good information to know. Uh, my name is Lotus. What's yours? Uh,. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thea. Thea. Thea, you must know quite a bit. Uh, do you work here? No, I'm, a, I'm an attendant student. Oh, excellent. But do you work here as well? I, I was told that no, any I'm student just... could work here if they'd like. No, I'm just here for my lunch. I see. I head back to it now. You're an initiate? I am. All right, well, good luck on your prerequisites. Mm. All right, Lotus stares out the window. Is that dude still in, in sight? Uh, no, he's walking with, he's walking away with the, or he didn't even grab his, he didn't even, you know, take his food with him. He just uh, ran. Okay. All right, well, that's me. I'll just slowly head back to the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, were you successful, Lotus? I would say almost. Almost. You'll get him next time. Mm -hmm. What is she going to finish your meal? Um. Oh, um, no. Did, did you want it? I mean, if you don't mind. Yeah, she, uh, kind of slides it over to you. I'm not a very big fan of red meat. I have recurring nightmares about cannibalism. Why? I don't know. <laughs> No, I, Maybe I said, you I said, just need more said, vegetables that? in your diet. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, seeing that she may have said something wrong, she immediately casts. <laughs> Hold on. 
Where's this fucking spell? I just need to make a hockey for it. This is spell for everything. Read the air, read the air. Take a deep breath. <laughs> you may choose if it affects you. What? Oh, well, the if you need it, like, you know, it makes you better at, uh, at making an impression, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I try to always have it up all the time. She's, yep. inc she's incredibly insecure. Mm hmm Why do you have dreams about cannibalism? Well, I don't know, I, but it's, it's made it very unpleasant to eat red meat. I, I thought I'd be brave and give it a shot, um... I probably should have gotten the vegetarian plate. Are they cannibals in Osirion? No, not for the most part, I don't think. What's a cannabis? Okay. Well, oh, cannabis is a... Uh, yeah, they were selling that at the shop, actually. Um, yeah, that's awesome. No. no, a cannibal is a person that eats another person of a similar heritage. Or really, in my opinion, any intelligent, sentient creature that eats another intelligent, sentient creature. But that does muddy the waters a bit when it comes to, like, being able to talk to animals and such. Hmm. Noodle barks. He puts his food down. <laughs> it's well, a very complex creature, moral and ethical situation of, like, should we be eating meat? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. I try to just stick with fish, sort of a pescatarian situation. Yeah, they have the vegan option. I have. Do you, do you want my vegan burger? Uh, I would. I would. Did you not eat it? Did you not like it? No, I ate it. I mean, in the future. <laughs> I oh. All right. Uh, I mean, I can order my own in the future. I just. I just wanted to see if I could stomach it and try to be. Try to fit in a bit. Oh. This guy eavesdropping uh, <laughs> says, well, did you get your second meal of the day yet? Uh, no, but I bought some um, plums. I'll just have those. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Conservative conservative. Uh, he he, 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 uh, he, he uh, looks at your, your, your bracelet and says, oh, initiate. Oh, good luck on your prerequisites. Yes, thank you. You guys don't have recurring dreams about terrible things and... No? I mean, yeah, but not about cannibalism. Ah. Yeah, yeah, not about cannibalism. Or do you ever have dreams where you get so angry that you make people's heads explode? Um... No? Hmm. Me neither. Um, what's next? Uh, prerequisites, they said, yeah? Or are we just touring the campus today? We're touring the, touring the campus. I mean, we Excellent. can go, uh, there's a, we can go into the gardens, maybe, go look at those. That sounds like a very nice, calming thing to do. It does. <laughs> we can stop right. talking about cannibalism and bad dreams. Yeah. Alright, I'll take you guys back to the, the, uh, campus map, then. Everyone may be at the dormitory, too, if we want to wind down. Doesn't matter. All right. Now this oh. river that runs through here is that the Vanji River or is that a is no? A that's that's just a that's just a, a canal in Nintambu. Vanji River. Once you at some point you're going to see the Nintambu map and you'll see where the Vanji River is. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Vanji. I point towards uh -huh. the Whistle Tower. Let's go there. I want oh, to see if we can. That? Oh, that's where that flying, um, mm, or doormate went. You know, they flew on those like oh, wing thing. With the wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can rent them out. You know, take our own. So they flew from the the dormitory towards the uh, the tower, but they were hand gliding. They were like going oh. down as they were flying. Yeah, so we, they had it. Well, we might be able to hand glide from the whistle tower too. We need a okay. meeting. One, which right? is which is taller, the dormitory or the tower? The tower. Tower. Oh. There's also the elephant museum. What's the in between? So the in between, um, it's named after, it's named after uh, Cayman Jaws. 
uh, the hyena who look between one of the 10 magic warriors. Um, it's mainly classrooms and labs. Oh. It's, it's mainly used by the uh, cascade bearers. Well, if we Maybe we should go to the Arcorn library and see if we can find any information on the trials we face tomorrow. You want to go to the library on our day off? Yeah, you don't want to go parasailing? Our first, our, day, our first day off. Oh man, I can feel I can feel a party split about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I feel it too. <laughs> But think about it, the cool. It, it's Paris like the scaling. Civil War meme pops up. <laughs> <laughs> library. library. Hand guarding. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll unlock some uh, some some places on the map. So there's a speaker stage. Mm, anywhere else here? No, I think everybody else is everything else that you guys know about is here. This is real. Well, how about let's go take a peek at the Whistle Tower, and if there's no parasails, we can go to the library. Okay. They have, like, more than one library anyway, right? I mean, because the archives are the library, and then there's a the library. Picara, what books do you need? Sure, he just stares out into the distance. Like, just... All of them. All of, all of them. Oh. Well, I need. Well, if you have a particular subject, I can just get you the book. Is it uh, at what entrance exams? What, is, what are these things called? We're doing prerequisites. Prerequisites. One word. It might be personal accounts or some other the like that we might be able to access. All right. I would like to make that my particular subject, and then I reach into my uh, my waterproof journal, my illegal waterproof journal, and I'm going to pull out the appropriate books. Is it yeah. Pocket Library? Yep. Wow. It's a good spell there. Best it's a really good game. spell. The best spell in the game right there. Mm -hmm. Job it approves. All right. Um, okay. Um, add the effect to yourself and give me your recall knowledge where you're looking, what you're trying to, uh, trying to think of. It just says that we can all access it for the next 24 hours. No, it so says... 20, for, for 24 hours, you have the ability to pull this book and use it for a recall knowledge check. And then oh. once you use it, and then once you use it for the recall knowledge check, it goes away. Oh, okay. But you, so it's like one of those things you cast in the morning, and you have it for twenty four hours, and then whenever you need it, you can just recall knowledge and pull the book out. Okay. Well, I will save it in case we don't go to the library. Okay. So yeah, pretty much add the effect to, to Lotus, and you have it for twenty four hours. Okay. You can always talk, you can toggle it on when you want to use it. All right. Cool. Mm hmm. I'll, I'll show you, I'll race you to the tower. Do you guys have access to move the, the token here? All right, you're on. All right, ready, set, go. I guess not. Oh, we do, we do. I yeah, mean, we you, you should beat me. <laughs> I got 20 I feet know. movement. Uh oh, oh, why are you so slow? I'm, I'm, I'm not made for the land. Oh, oh. fish. Right. Whoa, I'm not a fish. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I was even like that. I'm sorry. Bunch of bunch going to have to go to HR. <laughs> sorry. For sorry. calling somebody a cat, then calling somebody a fish. Oh, I'm making it Oh, my busy. goodness. Oh, wow. You guys. Oh, wow. You guys both get there at the exact same time. So it's, it's a draw. Noodle beats us both, though. He's so fast. Wait, wait, so, I think your athletics would had to have been better than mine. I am I am certainly trained in athletics, but I have a negative one strength, so Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was I was curious if we would have gotten there faster walking, that's what I was rolling for. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Where are we running? Is <laughs> <Is laughs> <somebody laughs> us? What's happening? Looks around. This whip setter. So um when you get to the the whistling tower, you do see that is a almost all solid uh power um you don't see any you don't it doesn't look like there's any openings uh on it even though the the path leads up to it uh you do see there is like a, a bit of a balcony at the top but you don't see any way of of getting there seeing you guys uh, like standing by the whistling tower uh you do see some um uh students are are walking by and uh uh they kind of turn towards you and says uh 
what are you guys doing at the whistling tower um we saw someone hand glide into it didn't know if that was like an activity mm -hmm. well the only way to get up top up there is flying so oh hmm can any of you guys fly oh not yet hmm. so we, how, how high up is that is yeah, that how um, high is the balcony uh the balcony is uh 120 feet up yeah Damn. okay wow that's, that's up there it's certainly up there yeah come on it's only like what 25 climb checks <laughs> oh, wait, uh, I, have, I have paints for this actually no, no, you have... climb like five feet at a time don't you yeah, yeah. it's a, a lot of checks yeah and it's 120 feet up I'm good at climbing but that is really high I'm gonna make this a goal of ours to one day be able to somehow may it be flying or climbing wait whatever way we're gonna get up there one day. Dusty, you said you were good at climbing. Could you climb this tower? Uh, I don't want to. No. It's really so high. You could take. We could take all of our rope and tie it together, and then you could climb up and tie the rope off, and then we could all climb up, and we'd be the first students to ever climb this tower on the first day of their cohort. I don't have any more rope. Sorry. Yeah, who brings the rope? Oh, that's it back in my room. Well, this will be a this will be a, a quest for us at some point to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our doormates went here, so you know, maybe we could ask yeah, him or she. It. Yeah. So, oh. so I, just to clarify, they didn't fly. They didn't glide up to the top of the tower. They they were gliding towards the direction of the tower, going down. So they probably landed somewhere like around here, and oh, then they... went went about their business. Uh... Oh, they they didn't even land in the tower. Okay. They weren't that high. Well, hard to tell from where we were. Probably like an attempt. Well, I guess we're stuck going to the library then. All right, the library. The gardens are right over there. We can go to the gardens. Mm -hmm. the library. Yeah, okay. yeah. They play tricks on us, Vanji. I need to get in. All right. Remember the hand towers. Library. I don't need any more oh, issues yeah. like that. Library right. time. Have a the acorn library. We need to get our oh, library the... bead, and then we need to get all. The... We need to get our beads for all the locations. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this the uh, acorn library, named after White Bull, the horn forger, one of the image warriors. Uh, this is the second library on campus, and um, from what you what you can see, it, it has an old performance and dance studio at the uh, in its basement. Oh. But it seems to be a normal li library. So if there's anything you guys want to do research about, you guys can. All right, Takaro, let's get to work. He <laughs> nods. And she is transformed in the presence of this library into a more focused, more dangerous creature than ever before. Okay. What do you guys, what do you guys want to do Because she has lore legal and lore academia. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Oh boy. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Need attorney. What uh what uh what do you guys want to look up uh, while you're here? If you guys want to do some research or anything like that. Oh, I want to look up uh interesting um attempts at the requisites in the past. Like the biggest blunders and the greatest successes. I lost connection there for a second. Like the what? Oh, like the biggest blunders and the great. Okay. Uh, alrighty. We'll do a little research mini game then. Um, is everybody okay with that subject? Or does anybody want to do any any other subjects? It's probably just I did a, I did a in save. the library, so he's just kind of looking around like, oh, that's a lot of books. <laughs> I just keep getting I dropped all the time. Dropped I, all I, the time. No, I no, I lost connection too for a second there. Like uh, okay. on my end too. Like like 
He said I so didn't have internet she, for a bit. She wanted to research the greatest blunders and mm -hmm. uh, successes of the requisites in the past. Noteworthy. Okay. Yeah, noteworthy stuff. Okay. Yeah, I did a yeah, save that seems fine. Star got sidetracked by uh, alchemical studies, but uh, he got a 25, so yeah, we'll stick with that. All right. The, All right. Uh... Okay, in that case, we're going to do a little research mini game here. Oh, boy. Uh, mini game. Okay. Researching. Oh, yeah, it's real choppy tonight. The, yeah, the chat. Tough. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, Discord's a pretty small company. You know, they're trying the best to keep small the lights on. Company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard out there when you purchase by okay. what, Sony. Like... This will be a, a short one. Um, the goal here is to get, uh, let me see here, uh, four research points. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, you guys have the library. So, um, Things like library lore, academia lore, uh, and Magambia lore can work work really well here. Society is also another, uh, those, so the, all those lores will be the easiest things to do. Um, uh, there is also uh, society could work. Um, and then uh, arcana uh, and uh, nature are all uh, possible. But arcana and nature have the highest DCs. Um, if you if you don't feel like any of those can can work with you, you can tell me a way of how you're helping someone else go about it, and that will be uh, give uh, the next person to do a check a uh, circumstance bonus on their check. So uh, in that case, I'll take you guys to the dashboard real quick. And we'll add you guys to initiative. I wonder who all these books belong. Is anybody not participating in this research? Um, I Dusty, got Dusty will hang so out and help. Uh, yeah, you can help. He'll just, he'll just, um, like, he'll just like hold books while they're like picking up books, and he'll hold on to them and put them back. Okay. Right. Right. So whoever wants to. Mr. Charles getting the uh, research books down. He, he makes sure he grabs a, an encyclopedia on rocks. Oh, Good geo geological study for. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna ask if the one, like if there's like a luck system. Like, is it like because you know how they set up like a book on the end of a shelf? <laughs> it's like, does it happen to have a rock on it? And he's and he's that he's no one. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go <laughs> find the ladder. So find like the fifteenth right. shelf. Let me see. Do I have research music here? Just play the. Danger music for Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Always. No, we, right. we, we haven't done any tests yet. When we get to the testing part, we're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's when you play the uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire um, music. When you're deciding whether that's trying to cheat. <laughs> Don't cheat. You're cheating will get you kicked out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not planning on cheating. You mean you don't plan on getting caught? I don't need to cheat. Cheaters oh. never win. What? Really? <laughs> I didn't think we were in that big of a hurry. All right. All right, so, to Charles, you're starting us off. How are you doing your research? It's going to uh, find uh, like autobiographies of people's time within the uh, Magambia, people that have written up their experiences. They imagine that the uh, initial foray into the Magambia and their, their time in the prerequisites uh, might have drawn some uh, like worthy of writing about. So he'll be looking for like personal accounts like that to see if there's any connection or anything that you can gleam from there. So specifically but, you're trying to find find those types of books. Yeah, so probably something like okay. society. Um uh if you're if you're specifically just looking for books they're trying to gather the books like that that are like that, you can also give me a perception. Alright. Would the uh, perception the, of the society be a higher Perception DC? perception will be a higher D C. Right, I'll go with society then. Alright.
All right, that is success. All right, you're able to find a few books about uh, and some um, um, older um, old articles that were like well made, um, uh, like report papers that were uh, well made that you know were stored in the uh, Acorn Library. Nice. All that's right. One, that's one research point uh, successful. You, you guys will learn something gonna... once you get to uh, uh, two research points. He's handing, he's handing down, he's bringing the, the big stacks and he's passing to Dusty and the stack is just growing in, in their heart. Yeah, he's just resting on his head and his horns. <laughs> For... uh, oh, I know. I get, All right. Can I do a balance check? Or am I just aiding him? <laughs> uh, you tell me how you want to aid. Uh, I'm just holding the books. <laughs> All right, you want to... You're, you're, you're it is the I'm not much keep, help. Uh, you, you're trying to make sure they're not, they don't get, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, mixed up so they know they have the right book where they need it? Sure. Mm. Is that, does that sound right? That sounds good. Uh, what do I roll for that? All right. All right. That would be a, uh, here. Uh-huh. Uh, that would be either society. Okay. Yeah, that would be a society, society check. Okay, here you go. Plus zero. <laughs> Oh damn! Nice. All right. I mean, if you were researching, that could have that would have been a that would have been a success. But you're gonna give the next person a plus one. All right. So, Ashala, Ashala, you have a plus one on your on, on whatever you're gonna be doing to uh, to help with this uh, special circumstance bonus. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're doing to, yeah, in this um, research. Channel. Looking up requisites by branch using academia. All right, academia lore. All right, uh, that's a success. That's another research point. Okay. So, um, what you guys learned within with two research points uh, so far is that the um, um, uh, the prerequisites usually ha- involve going out and helping either the Mugambia or the or the city of Nantambu doing uh, kind of service projects uh, that are themed around each of the branches. Sometimes this involves, uh, you know, doing uh, handling disputes. Uh, so, uh, some depending on the branch. So maybe a, a Elmer, uh, Emerald uh, Bros quest um, prerequisite quest would be handling a dispute between neighborhood between two neighbors or something like that. And they want you to go and mediate it. Or um, for the Tempest and Mages, maybe it might be um, handling a, a uh, combat encounter or something like that. Um, sometimes the uh, they usually are all themed after the spirit of the branch. So if you can understand what the branches are about in spirit, you will put, most likely know what the solution is for these uh, um quests um let me see here uh uh-huh. how many hours of research to get that so each round it will be two hours <laughs> nice. we're gonna be researching for eight hours no no each round oh, 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 oh okay, okay 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 oh okay <laughs> yeah, yeah i thought you meant each turn uh, no not yeah. each turn each round all right all right, so that's for you guys at, at two. Hopefully, you guys finish in one round. We'll see. Uh, all right, Lotus, you're up. We can go on. Okay. Um, what were the um, what were the roles we wanted? Arcana, uh, Academia. So, so e- e- easiest to hardest. Easiest is uh, Library, Academia, or Magambia lore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then the next one up from there uh, is Society, and then mm-hmm. the next one up from there in difficulty is Arcana and Nature. Okay, I'm gonna do society with the plus one from my spell. Okay. Okay. You plus that is that a? Wait, is that a circumstance or is that a? It is a circumstance bonus. Oh, no, it's a, no, I it's think a it's a status. status. Bonus. Do we status, have a yeah. circumstance bonus because we're using such a fantastic library? Uh, no. Hmm. Guess it's not that good of a library after all. If you were going to the Heron archives, maybe. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna re- re-roll. All right. Oof. Well, Oof. That's mm-hmm. real. Uh, oh no, it's siding your mind. 
Okay. Alrighty. I mean, I yeah, uh, I would I would burn my plus one if it mattered, but yeah. yeah. Uh, the DC, the DV for the DV the DC for society was seventeen. Mm. Um, the lowers are fifteen. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's a fail. Uh, uh, next up is Vanji. Alrighty. Books. My worst enemy. Mutual enemies. Uh, I will roll in a Gambia lore. Alright. Alright, that's a success. Uh, you get another research point. Um, nothing, nothing major yet. Uh, you guys are at three out of five. Need to look as I look over at Sacharo, who's who's like researching. I kind of like try to mimic what he's doing and pretend like I know how to research properly. All right, next round. Let me go ahead and reroll initiative to see the order. Charles uh, is in the ring. He's got like twenty books laid out around. Him. Oh wait, hold on. He's just oh, he well, like he's leaps through one of them and then passes it to does to, to the write that down. Points to like a path. Are we re-rolling our initiative every time? No, just for this re just for research, oh, just so for that research we know who's. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I okay. thought we were doing a cyberpunk here. No, no. All right. So, Dusty, you're starting us off. How are you helping? I'm gonna be brutally honest with you involved. guys. <laughs> you probably they probably get bored and <laughs> go blink and drop out of this. See, like, right, a you, you're allowed like, to do that. A butterfly really out the me. window, and then, yeah, they're yeah. just gone. Because I didn't know it was going to take us two hours. No, it's going to take us at least four hours now. Yeah, I, I definitely about. I'll, like, I'll probably, you know, actually now thinking about this, it's probably it's probably about an hour for each each round then. Okay, but I still think yeah, I still think they probably get yeah, distracted yeah. And, and and head out. Mm -hmm. Okay. But please hope you guys will take it through. <laughs> All right, Bonji, you're up. Uh, he's going we'll cross. Beetle outside. Yeah, Dusty leaves the charge. All right, that's a, that's another success. Which char you, you you were gonna hand a book and then it just <laughs> drops to the floor. Lotus. Um. All right. So. <clears throat> my sheet says I have those lore skills, but they're currently untrained because it, it, no, I'm going. They, they should be trained. You can't have an untrained war. You can if you built your character up to 20, then de leveled them, and then imported it. Well, you, you can manually change it. Oh, I can? Yeah, yeah. Just click on the I untrained, mean, uh, and there's a little drop down box. Well, uh, I guess, would you, would you at this level have them trained? That's what I'm saying. I don't know if they're trained yet or not. I have to like open up path order and double check. But for uh, now, okay, I'll, gotcha. yeah, I'll just roll society. Right. Nope. Oof. All right, that's another fail. I, I know. All right. Ashala, Ashala. Need one more. All right, that's a critical failure. That's gonna oh lose you God. one. <laughs> oh you're, gonna, you're gonna keep it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. And then we, just, right. end it. we just end the campaign because we're no good at school. <laughs> that's right. All that's right. it. We've learned enough. We just go back to so the door. Sorry. If you can crit this, this this is what this is what happened <laughs> to that that bear guys group. They tried to they tried to be students. They failed, and then they started killing all the teachers. It makes sense. I, I agree. We should go do that right now. Yeah. Are there uh, diminishing returns on? No, there's no diminishing returns. All right. In that case, Charo, he, uh, he cracks his knuckles. He uh, beckons for Noodle to follow them, and he, he goes and he gets uh, even more books. Um, and I'll do another society. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oof. I'll use my hero. Alright. Tom acts like we're researching how to defeat the BBEG. We're just trying to figure out what's going to be on the first test. Alright. No, sad, sadly, no. I need the first test. It's like the pop quiz. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I 
All right, tomorrow there's gonna be a pop quiz. Oh crap! What could it be? Hey, you guys can you guys can stop whenever you want. We can we can stop. It's hour three. Did we yeah, give up? Hour three. Ooh. Um... But we start with Lotus. Though. Lotus is so smart. I mean, if, if, if one person goes, that's that's the hour. Yeah. <laughs> I have an idea of what I could do this this round. Are you, are you guys going or no? I mean, Lotus is not going to leave until she's successful. So all right, okay. Go ahead and give, give me a. Give me a, give me a the, the other, the others could leave. That's fine, but she's not going to stop until it's over. Lotus right. and Tachara will be here till four a. All right, here we go. Uh, society. Hey. Right. Success. Success. I got four. Okay. You need one more. Alright. Alright. I shall again. Alright, oh, here we go. No crit failure, please. Alright, that's a success. Alright, with that, the encounter ends. The stressful music ends. Let's some lo fi. Alright. Uh, so. What you learn um, is um, there actually was uh, uh, a student by the name of uh, Uruak um, who uh, was an initiate and was assigned was doing their prerequisites. Uh, they were assigned to go and uh, remove a bunch of uh, gremlins from a, uh, a storage room. And um, mm. yep, uh, they, they failed. They failed. Um, well, they succeeded, but also failed because they uh, um, what you call it a uh, uh, they pretty much slaughtered all the gremlins. Um, they uh, uh you know, they, they have they a no killing policy. Yeah, he just went inside there, um, and uh, you know there are gremlins. He considered them pests. And just slaughtered slaughtered them. Uh, uh, apparently, he was uh, uh, expelled, going to be expelled, and he actually, uh, uh, you know, was upset with the teachers for expelling him for for killing a bunch of pests. And so uh, he actually lashed out at one of the teachers. Uh, oh, he, he was uh, in that bear guys group. They uh, uh, apparently uh, he uh, um, got restrained. Uh, his spell, you know, bounced off the wards in the Magambia, uh, and uh, he was restrained and uh, put into, uh, uh, locked into a one of the rooms inside the, uh, the uh, what you call it, the warden house, um, to figure out what they were going to do with him. And, um, but people, no one really knows what happened to him after that. Uh, you guys, because you guys have uh, did, the, did the research all the way through, you made it to the end. Um, uh, there's a curious note about um, apparently he, uh, even though he was restrained in the warden house, um, uh, he tried to use his magic to uh, uh, to escape. Something happened. Um, they're not sure whether it was like a wild magic surge or a magical accident or something like that, and he vanished. Oh my goodness. So, we want to make sure that we don't kill anyone. And to make sure that we adhere to the Magambia's guiding principles when we complete their task. Well, Takara, you know what this means. Now we can research gremlins. <laughs> he gives a wry smile. He says, uh, "You've got." And he, uh, he starts hiding into the shell. <laughs> All right. That's the name of the the student. Udawak. Udawak. Yeah. He didn't make it. Past um. What, one thing you did learn, you didn't know about him, Ooh, is there that there was he, a character he... named Udawak in this book I listened to that took place in uh a, another like African inspired uh, fantasy setting. Good. One thing about about him um, that you would have got from your your research is that he was uh, very skilled in earth magic. Mm. 
rocks. All right. Hey, hey, Tacharo. He's a. Uh, he's currently under like a shelf trying to reach a book that's like deep in there. Do you, like, think, yeah. two, three. do you think that they might have something about here about past students who like died? Oh, sorry. There's also oh, one sorry. other thing too. Um, it looks like uh, with your research. Uh, uh, let me see here. Yes. Uh, let's check my notes real quick. Oh, okay. Here it is. Um, uh, so uh, another in the fight with the uh, with with the gremlins, um, a student in his cohort uh, got badly injured and uh, passed away. Oh no! I'm gonna take that as a yes. I am sure that there would be some sort of memoirs or cataloging of anyone who died on Magambia Ground. Okay, do you think we could try to, like, narrow down the search? Hmm. We could. Maybe not now, because, you know, everyone's around. This is a secret project between you and I, so. <laughs> Use your uh, thumb. And he goes back to climbing into the ship. Are you okay? Do you need help? I am fine. And then uh, the books collapse on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because there's, right. there's paint muffling beneath the pile. Sure, I'm sure he's fine. All right, yeah, you guys are, are pretty much free to do what you want. You guys could head back to the to the dorm. Or check out any of the other any of the other uh, buildings, but it is around almost uh, uh, call it. six, right? Yeah, six. Mm-hmm. Let's head back to the dorm. Yes. Sun is setting soon, so if you guys want to get your final meal for the night, don't worry, Takara. I'll research the gremlins before bed. Mm-hmm. Well, I had. I had a big breakfast. I think I will stay here. Oh, uh, oh! One thing you do know is that uh, they usually do the, the assignment order as brain scribe assignment first, temple sun mage assignment second, uh, ca- uh, cascade bearer uh, assignment third. Um, see here, Elmo Bros. After that, and then finishing it off with Uzajati. Uh, We got a big day tomorrow. We should get some sleep. Well, well rested. We're not, we're not in our houses. Uh, not our houses, but, you know. But they are houses? The dorms. Your dorms. No, no, no. I mean, we haven't chosen, like, our sub school or whatever, right? No, not yet. So okay. this will, you you would choose. Right now, you so the, it starts off at level zero. Your your branch level. Mm-hmm. Is that level starts off at zero. So once you choose, once you get to level one, then that will be your branch. So... You're not gonna have that until you get your first time. Until your first time, you uh, you yeah. level up your your branch. When you level up your branch, that's when you can choose. All right. So, uh, I, I guess you guys are heading back to the dorm then. Did we get a library yeah. bead? I think so. Uh, no. Your okay. initiate beads allow you to get to the library. Allow you to go to the oh, library. Oh, sweet. I see. Mm-hmm. Back we go, I guess. Let's see if we can meet any of our other dorm mates. Hopefully most of them are back by now. Yeah. All right. So you guys head back then? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. They might have some ideas of what, you know, what they had to do for their, um, 
prerequisite? No, that was literally gonna be my. I was gonna go out and ask somebody <laughs> outside. It's been three hours researching. <laughs> Dust just goes and asks somebody in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's probably just exploring for a bit. <laughs> Gotta enjoy the peaceful moments before. All right. All righty. I'll take you guys back to this map, and let me actually make it a little bit darker. Oh, the rain hasn't really stopped all day. Rainy. Right, activate. As you guys kind of come around the, uh, around back towards the entrance, you do see Essie in the front. And she seems to be looking around. You see everybody else is also kind of like, you know, looking for stuff. Looking around. Charles would wave to them as they... Where could they be? Uh, she says. And then she turns around and sees you guys and says, Oh, you guys are back. Mm. Hey, what, mm. what are you guys looking? Are you looking for us? Oh no, we're uh, looking for uh, 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 Zavi and and, and uh, Zachi. Those, those, yeah. That's yeah, that's the yeah, that's uh, uh, oh. and then she said uh, she turns around and says, "Yeah, that's uh, uh, is in a ways uh, kids." And you see this lady look towards you guys. Oh, so so sad. <laughs> it looks so tired. She says, yeah, I'm Could looking for them. Cold. And you see this person uh, says, uh, yeah, they're probably around here somewhere. Just keep your heads up. They like to hang out on the ceiling. Are they spider children? They all kind of look at you and uh, Ooh, spider children. <laughs> you mean a naughty? Yes. And uh, she says, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I'm naughty. Uh, I'm sorry. They they really don't like to to be in their their humanoid form, and I know it could be uh it could be a little uh disturbing. It's okay. Um, I, I'll I'll grab them and, and and take them into the room soon. Oh no! I just these little like spider kids. Come on. The 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 they literally are spiders, though. To yeah. Charles, you do see as you come around the corner uh, on the ceiling here. Someone peeking out. Aww. Aww. They're very cute. Amazing. He's gonna wave to them. Uh, they wave. To, they, one of them you know, waves that. back to you, and then comes back around. They come back out, and they put the one of their uh, furry uh, uh, hands over their pincer, and then comes back around. <laughs> All right, yeah, go play along. All right, they gotta be around here somewhere. Spots the other one over. He gives no indication though. All right. Uh, as you kind of like move around, th this one peeks out again to like to make sure that uh, you know, you know, no one has seen them. And as they peek out, you see her say, "That's where you. That, there you are." And she begins to cast a spell. Right, she casts a spell, and you see a like white uh, thread fly out towards the uh, uh, the uh, spider, and they get yanked down from the ceiling <laughs> and into her arms. Uh, you can see that they're uh, uh, they look very happy that they got they got pulled from the ceiling like that. She begins to hold. She uh, she like puts her, put like you know, holds them and like has them on their back. As now there's just a spider, like clinging to her back now. 
Where's your Where's your sister? And then uh, as she like walks down a little bit further, sees them, and does the same thing, begins to cast the spell again. Which Which one is which? What's What's their Which one's name is which? All right. Uh, and she uh, you know, now has a spider on uh, on her chest and on her back as she walks walks uh, back to her room. Uh, she says, uh, uh, "This one is a uh, Zavi, Zanvi, and this one's right here is Zachva." Oh, it's nice to meet you guys. Uh, they kind of they turn towards you and says, "Nice to meet you too. Are you new?" Yeah, all five of us are new. Okay, good. Well, it's it's nice. Maybe we could play sometime. Oh, sure. Are you dead? Whoa, why does everyone keep asking that? <laughs> uh, she said, uh, as he says, uh, Zombie uh, says that, uh, she turns and says, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, Zombie, you shouldn't say that to people. No, it's it's okay. No, I'm not, not dead. Okay. Well, you look like it. So, oh. so, zombie, <laughs> stop. I'm oh. sorry. I'm, I'm taking them. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, what, what? it's absolutely fair. No, that's a fair, that's a fair thing. To oh, if, if you ever that's need a way to tire them out, uh, Vanji and Noodle love children. I do love kids. How do you know? Okay, well. Just a gut instinct. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, thank you. Come on, you too. She has it to her room. I can keep I, wait. We, I we think, play with all the kids. They played fetch. I just think children should be put to work. You know. I mean, you can you can put them to work, and they can still like have them be kids. Like maybe we could get them to work in your um, alchemy lab, Takaro. We could pay them with sweets or something. He frowned. He says, "No, it, it, the work can be a little bit too dangerous to have untrained hands doing anything with it." Well, I mean, they're growing up in a magic school. They're probably somewhat skittled. All right. I would prefer to be the only one taking such a. Well, now that that's done, um, you, you you're all the you're all the new the new people here, the new initiates, right? Mm. Sweetie. Yeah, I don't think we've met you before. Yes, you seem oh. much cooler than everyone else we've met. Like twenty percent cooler, at least. <laughs> that's right. Uh, my name is uh, Mariama. And uh, you can see that uh, she has a lizard tattoo on her neck. Mm. Is this, Where's Lotus' is this scorpion one? tattoo currently? <laughs> uh, it, is, it is currently on her right forearm. Uh, she, she puts out her hand to shake, shake yours, Lotus. Okay. Uh, Lotus uh, takes her hand, um, but like doesn't like shake it she just kind of like holds it in her hand uh you know and like then, raise, raises it a little and then you know sets it back down and she shakes it shakes it violently oh <laughs> okay <laughs> says, yeah, nice to meet you uh, you just call me mariama uh she comes over to you bonji puts her hand out oh hey yeah what's yours bonji bonji okay and she she goes back and looks at you again lotus says Your, your name? Hello? You there? Oh, to me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I zoned out for a moment. Uh, my name's Lotus. Um, okay, Lotus. Yeah. Comes over to here. Looks and kind of like, you know, uh, um, stands next to you. Uh, Dusty looks down and says, and you? Uh, uh, oh, I'm Dusty. Oh, Dusty, Dusty. And she, like, squints her eyes and says, Hmm. Hmm. He, d he does have... She, he should be, should be okay. Uh, she turns over here. Oh. Shalia, nice to meet you. Shalia, Shalia. Uh, Mariama, Mariama. That's my room over there, that one over there. She points. <laughs> Is this the one that's super unlucky? And then and super lucky, or which one? Or have we not met them yet? And you? And you stand by your door. Sarah. 
And the Charo. Yeah, he proffers his hand out. All right, she she takes it and then she like turns it uh, over onto its palm and starts looking at your hand. Hmm. It's Charo. He's, he's doing that thing where he's like. He's got one hand on like his doorknob, and he's like, you, you can tell he really wants to just like go into his room and like <laughs> do introvert stuff. But he's like, uh, he's forced himself. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, he uh, he just stares at her. She looks at his palm. She looks. She looks up at you. She gets. She begins to take, put her hand onto your 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 cheek. <laughs> and he just stares at her. All right. She like turns your head to the side. You wouldn't happen to know anything to... about these prerequisites that we have to undertake tomorrow. Oh yeah. Uh, mm, uh, which one am I doing again? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I guess I'll ask Essie later which one I'm supposed to be doing, helping out with. But I think you're going to be starting with the uh, rain scribes tomorrow. So, uh, uh, did we? Did, did you figure out already? Figure out a task? I think you're supposed to be meet with uh, with Anchor Group. Tomorrow morning. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, it's nice uh, meeting you all. Uh, if you, uh, we'll be seeing you around. All right. Yeah. Oh, one thing. Uh, every Sunday, uh, me, uh, Okoro, and. Uh, and uh, Ignacy do have game nights, so uh, game just night? keep that in mind. Game nights, guys, yes. What do, you guys, what do you guys play? Uh, whatever game uh, Okoro brings, and he's a bit of a he's really into games. Oh, he's, he, 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 yeah, he sets up the game nights every 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 Sunday night. All right. She comes over here and sits down on her on the chair. Well, uh, as he goes ahead and sits down with her. All right. <laughs> like, are you stuck noodle to do? I just kind of pick random people every map for him to follow around. Alrighty, so um, I know you guys can hang out in the uh, in the common room if you guys want and just chat with with Mariama and, and Essie. Uh, people eventually show up. More people show up. At some at one point, uh, Zenaway comes out. Also takes a seat. Manji has his legs like propped up on the table, and he's got his uh, his Korra, and he's just like playing music, just being super disruptive. Uh, Anchor Root here uh, sees you, Dusty, and uh, is just staring at you while holding chicken. I guess eventually they would feel uh, someone looking at them and it, they'd look over to them. Like a slight smile. She waves. Oh, he waves back. All right. And then after, you, after that, she walks, she uh, goes uh, back to her room. Then uh, as she turns around the corner, she you know turns back over and says, uh, um, uh, 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 well, well uh, I'm gonna be the, the one do your uh, your prerequisite uh, test tomorrow, so uh, I, I, I'll, I'll see you. S- sorry, and then what runs runs away. What? She gonna do our test? I hope it's not a test of courage. Uh, she says, turning back to her book. Right, somebody begins to walk in. 
You see this? Oh. We're walking with a pet. With a pet. What is oh that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that one of those Eldermon I keep hearing about? Yeah. Uh, uh, Etsy uh, kind of stands up and says, Oh, uh, not solo. Uh, these are the new uh, initiates. Uh, she turns towards you and uh, just uh, nods and says, uh, oh, My name's not solo. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you. Nox Solo, it? it's a pleasure. The name is Lotus. Lotus. This is uh, Snabble. Snabble. <laughs> Amazing. That name tells me everything. Mm -hmm. What is Snabble? Uh, you, you say that, she turns towards you and shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> does it know? Does it care? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. I am just uh, entranced by it. She uh, kind of looks looks at looks at you and says, uh, "I guess you guys are going to be doing the uh, uh, your prerequisites starting tomorrow. Uh, good luck." Yeah, it should be. be oh. Uh, she she thinks for a moment and says, "Uh." uh not sure which one I'm supposed to help you out with. Probably do some Jati. Wait. Oh, so each of you is doing a different part of our requisite tomorrow? Yeah, we're all giving you assignments. Oh. We already went through our, our prerequisites, so. Right, right, right. This is the thing that I thought might be a hazing ritual, but I was assured was... Uh, completely not a hazing ritual if they ever get new students uh after this you'll probably be running their prerequisite too mm. well i will do so with dignity and kindness it is my way can i do a uh a recall knowledge about this <laughs> oh i thought you're gonna do a sense motive i was like oh, i'm not ready for this hold on because <laughs> i just feel like so like Dusty helps out, helped out with tra like the traps and stuff. You know, the kobold sometimes use like. I feel like this is an animal you'd stick at a kobold trap. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we seen anything right, like yeah. before? You can give me. Yeah, you can give me a recall knowledge. Okay, that would be nature. Uh, you you. <laughs> uh, it would be uh. Go ahead and hit the recall knowledge button, because it could be uh many different things. Oh, okay. Where's the recall knowledge button? So the, there's the basic action macro. Oh, basic action. You yeah. want to pop and click the recall knowledge button when you have your token selected. R, R, R. Select token. Oh, wow. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> the the negative one is, is it says negative one for everybody. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You're bound it, to it, it, at least something on there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let me see here. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dust, you have no idea what this creature is. Um, in terms of uh, description, uh, you see here, I'll give you a little description, physical description of what it is. Um, mm -hmm. It looks like a fuzzy, a fuzzy cross between a crocodile and a bear cub. All right. As she kind of like gets in from the rain, uh, uh, you see that she does. Like as she like walks past you, past you guys and starts heading heading towards her room, she seems to like spin and like hop a little bit as she's doing it. Whoa. And then uh, you see you hear her humming to music. That only she can hear. <laughs> you hear her unlock her door and walk in. No, they won't see the locked door. Yeah. The Charles door is unlocked, but there's many warning labels on it. That the, the caustic, uh, <laughs> destructive to body. All the all the work has workplace hazard symbols. Yeah. There's like a there's like a stand of safety glasses outside. There's one picture with there's one picture with the guy holding his bottom is just flying in the air. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. 
Uh, let me see here. Anything else? Yeah, so after some time again, as you guys are hanging out, chatting, you do see some people, more people show back up, show up. All right, you see three three guys show uh, walk in. Uh, you see Ignasi walking with a. Let me give you a description of this guy. Uh, a uh, uh huh. Uh, -huh, uh, -huh, uh, -huh, uh, -huh. uh a uh, somewhat slightly uh uh, uh gruff looking uh, uh Metkebe, uh dwarf, uh, wearing full plate. Oh, uh, walks in and he's holding a red hand glider. Oh, that's the hand glider guy. <laughs> Man, he probably so would have made it to the tower if he wasn't hand gliding in full. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Does it like yeah. does it like fold uh, up? Like is he getting through the door? No, he you know, yeah, it's not folded up. He just has it. Oh, okay. Uh, and he like pull, he like pulling in. Uh, 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 this person, and this person are kind of helping him. And as he like kind of gets in, he holds it up and says, "I didn't make it this time." Don't worry, I'll get it next time. Where oh. where did you get one of those? I made it. You made it? <laughs> That's right. That's incredible. It is, because I am credible. You are. I agree. Wait, you're credible or incredible? Both. Mm, fair. <laughs> She goes. She goes back to reading. Man, these characters are it's all are, amazing. <laughs> are you also trying to get into the Whispering Tower? Yeah, the only way to get up there is fine. What's in the so tower? Uh, it's just it's the warning system for the for the campus. <laughs> why, Wait, why do you want to get The warning there? system. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the highest buildings in, in on the campus. Oh, well, trying to get they, up there. How do they warn people if it's so hard to get up there? I mean, the people who warns it fly up there and activate it. Oh. They does got it... something cool up there to do? Is, is yeah, it just sort it make... of a status symbol to get up there? Yeah, does it make noise? Flashlights? Well, like... first I'm trying to get up there, and after that I'm trying to get on top of the circle. Oh, on top of the circle. Wow, okay. Mm. That's really high up, though. Ha yeah, I'm trying to use the the spire to get up, you know, to get some height before I hand glide over to the oh. to the tower. Wait, have you guys used the spire yet? Mm. And then they kind of all turn towards towards uh, hey, uh, this person, and he uh, says, "Hey," and they say, "Hey, Abram, probably not. They just got here." Uh, and she tur he turns to uh, uh, Essie and says, "You haven't shown them the tower yet. I mean, the, the spire yet." Oh, oh, oh. oh, all right. He turns. He turns towards you guys. Says, "You guys need to follow me." Oh, right now? Yes. I mean, I'm peaked. Okay. All right. Uh, let, me uh, go grab, let me wait. Hang on. Let me go grab the Charo real quick. Okay. Okay. It's right out here. Oh, He's turning, he walks back out. He walks back out into the rain. Ch -ch Charo. Oh yes. Um. Essie, I'd like to return your umbrella. I picked up a couple of my own. Oh, thank you. And thank you for your kindness. All right, let's see what's going on here. What is Charo they... going on an adventure? Is it dark outside yet? Or... <laughs> it's 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 getting dark. Yeah, it's okay. about it's almost it's pretty dark now. Yeah, actually, I'll I'll, I'll actually turn turn down the lights now. It's pretty late. It's getting pretty late. Uh, Jesus came in. Char was mixing two liquids. Uh, Whoa. He just oh, dumps them into a pot and then throws a lid over it. Kind of, there's a small explosion mm -hmm. underneath the, light. the lid. The lights activate once it gets dark. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I see. Goodness. But I got a, I got Flash some serious lights. Yeah, out here. They're, they're, they're a little, they're a little too bright. It were this bright when I first edited them. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm let in me, a let heat me, map. Let like, me let me turn let me turn these down. Thermal vision. Uh, uh, that's uh, attenuation and then uh, intensity. Turn that down. Okay. 
Yeah, that should be a little bit better. All right. So you guys come out here, and he says, "Okay, who wants to go first? What? What? Um, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go Bond. first. Oh, no, I don't want to. You go, go first. first. Yeah, I'll go first. All right. Where are we All going? Right. All right. I want you to stand right here. Uh, okay. Well, it's that hazing ritual Lotus was talking about. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, what I want you to do is jump as high as you can, straight up. Do you do, you do it? Yep. High jump. All right. You go up 60 feet up in the air. 50? Oh, 60. My, 60. my goodness. Uh, uh, all right. I look for something to grab on up here. Like, you can try and land on, on top of the tower. This tower is 50 feet up in the air. Ooh. You just okay. grab a ledge. Grab a ledge. Yep, yep. All right, you, yeah, you can just land on top of it. You, you're, it, 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 it seems Don't to worry. Be, I'll see, catch you if you fall. All right. Uh, yeah, you're on top of the, uh, the thing. Uh, down here, they, uh, he, uh, says, see, isn't it something? It's great. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, wow, um, how did that work? Oh, this tower just, uh, lets you jump high and, uh, I don't know, just has some type of magic on it. Um, he, he comes over and then jumps up to 60 feet and lands on top all right now what you're going to do here is from this point try and jump again <clears throat> um jump where like on the building just jump up just jump up as high as you can uh okay All right, even with the critical failure, by standing on this thing and jumping, you end up jumping to 120 feet of the air. Mm. That's horrifying. And then you, you begin to fall. Oh no, this is not good. Uh, and then you seem to land uh, on top of the tower, not taking any fall damage. Ooh. Um. So yeah, and he says, see, it's great. So as long as you're within 15 feet of this, uh, I guess it's like a column or a cylinder of like magic or something like that here. But as long as you're within 15 feet of, of this tower, you can jump up to 60 feet high and land with no problem. Oh. And then he jumps off the tower. That's pretty neat. And uh, Box starts walking away. Wait, anybody so else want to go? Just, just a question. When he jumps off the tower, does he do like a little jump onto the ground, or does he have to jump all the way up and then come back down? Aim, hey, he has to jump all the way up. Oh, okay. The force is... Uh, no, Dusty's shaking his head like, uh, no way. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna... I'll, I'll jump. Get back up. Oh my goodness, I'm going everywhere. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I'll move you. There you go. All right. And does this work with objects too? Like if you were gonna pass so, uh, an object? All right, here, I got an idea. Okay. He says, he says, do you consent? <laughs> yes. All right, he grabs you. Ah. And then he jumps up to the top of the tower while holding. I trust you with my life, strange man. All right, you guys are uh, 50 feet up in the air on top of the tower says, okay, so get ready. For what? He jumps while holding you again. You guys are 120 feet up in the air, and then he throws you up another 60 feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, maybe that's how he needs to get to the tower. He needs someone to throw him. You say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 sna- he, he snaps his finger. Uh, as he's falling. And, uh, <laughs> as he's falling. <laughs> and then he like he kind of like adjusts him. He like you see him cast a a spell with uh, that. Uh, here, hold on. Let me uh, do this real quick. As he's falling, right? And it kind of pushes him over to the side a bit, 
as he and so that he goes all the way down he runs up to you and gives you a gives you a hug and says that's, that's a smart idea oh um, you're welcome all right Charlie, so when robes. he throws Vanji by the way noodle disappears <laughs> oh because <laughs> you because you're you're, uh, you're uh, 120 plus uh, 60 so 200 yeah. feet away all right noodle dies oh, oh my god, oh, oh god. <laughs> is it that is it that bad uh it's, he has to be within 100 feet of me um mm. Oh. Wow, trying to delete Noodle crashed my foundry. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna mention that to that too, Dom, but uh, after after the session, I was. What? What happened? Your your, fr- your foundry is crashing a lot. When I tried to delete the stream token, yeah, or like oh any token really, or I don't know if it was set up. For that. We could do it later. Okay. That's Char- strange. Char- do you All wear right. robes or anything like? Yeah, he's got a like a yellow inner one and a green like rain rain fly. You just see Dusty like trying to like pot like like he's about to fall over, watching them go up and down, <laughs> very high, <laughs> almost like he's look at, you, yeah. you, you look up and fall back. Yeah, <laughs> he puts a hand on your shoulder and says, "They they will be fine." It seems that there is some sort of magic that is protecting. I'm sure whoever designed it at the Magambia knew what they were doing. That is really high. Mm. Do you want to give it a try? No. He like Our hugs the ground. Not... He just drops. To now you know. <laughs> as long as you're within that aura, I will be trying it. As long as you're within that aura, you are you are good to go. Is the other tower also um, enchanted? Uh, he looks at you, gives you a big grin, and says, "Why don't you go find out?" Ooh. Okay. He starts crawling away on the ground, <laughs> making sure it never leaves the side. All right, I come over here and I I hide you out. Okay. All right, uh, you uh, go ahead and go ahead and hit me a high jump. All right, you fall prone. Oh, okay. And he, he like bursts out laughing and says, "No, it's just the one over there." Oh. <laughs> I oh, roll over and get up. That's the hazing. That was, that was a good. That was a good try, though. Yeah, I'm not the best jumper. He like, he like takes a moment to look at you. He says, "Uh, hmm, you do a bit of sailing." Um, yeah, I have in the past. Oh, okay. We're going to be good friends. He walks in. Do, do, do you sail? A... <laughs> He's got a uh, You just can't leave me hanging like that. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I try and get in the uh, boat races every single time, and, you know, I could use a, a partner. Oh, People here are too, uh, to uh, whip, to wimpy to, to try and uh, go for a good sail, a good boat race. And then as he says that, as he stands up and says, "Too wimpy." I'll have you know, uh, you know, maybe maybe I'm not the best at sailing because I haven't done it too much, but we'll win next time. Mm, why haven't you won in the past? I mean, I haven't really done practicing sailing. You well, get do more, do more of it. Without practice, how could you possibly win? I do practice, just not as much as him. Mm, is it a team sport? It can be. It can be. I see. While I was outside, my comfy spot has been taken. <laughs> Her eyes that narrow, a... and then there's <laughs> yeah. like a like a dark like a dark energy starts to gather. Oh. Char doesn't know this. He saw uh, he saw Macy <laughs> out in the wild here, and now he's he's once again trying to uh, share notes with him. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Seeing this, wingman mode would activate. Uh, she would approach and say, uh, "Takaro, uh, Tacharo, excuse me. Um, I was wondering, 
that rare and unusual alchemical formula that you were working on, are, are you able to speak about it yet? Yes, I think I've got it in a working state now. Do you want to try it? Oh, well, I heard it's still very dangerous. I, uh, would it really be safe for me to go and take a look at it? Mm, yeah, he's, he's torn, but uh, between um, ethical concerns and wanting to share what he's, what he's got so far, uh, but yeah, you'll say... Uh, I know how much you've wanted to share your findings with others, but you're worried that only someone truly skilled in the alchemical arts could safely view the wonders that you've created. Oh, uh, this, as you say that, this guy right here says, uh, says, oh, you're an alchemist too? This guy right here. Oh, an alchemy throuple. <laughs> yeah, the three most. Oh, no, I, 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 oh, I'm not an alchemist. Uh, Ignacy here is. Oh, maybe you, maybe you should, maybe, yeah, maybe you should, you, you two should talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charles like, oh, yes, we have been. Yes, I've been showing him my latest notes here. <laughs> Ignacy uh, looks, uh, it looks at, at this guy. He says, uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm uh, Okoro. Okoro? Nice to meet you. This is the game. Okoro. Akoro Obio. Uh, okay. I'm good friends here with Ignac Ign Ignacy. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, Ignacy, you should definitely like, talk to him. Like he seems like uh, he, he, I think you guys will get along. And you can see there's like a, a bit of like a pain smile on Ignacy's face. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, you like guys definitely get along. Absolutely, uh, you guys should talk. I agree. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, sure. Maybe we could we can talk. Uh, what do you? Uh, what stuff do you? Make. I will show you what I'm working on. Come on, Lotus, Ignacy, Akora, Noodle. <laughs> I really don't think it's safe for Noodle unless we put the goggles on him. He has completed the safety train. To, to the alchemy oh, cave. Oh, and, and as you guys are walking away, uh, Akora does yell out and says, Oh, oh, I, I, I do uh, run uh, game nights every Sunday, so, you know, watch out for that. And, uh, it was nice meeting you. Good luck on your prerequisites. Mm. He has. He said he runs off to his room. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> Lotus watches him go because she desperately wants to uh, play an entire game from start to finish. Because in her life, she's never been able to do that. Yeah, Somebody gets boardwalk and it it's always a, just falls apart. It's a deep cut. <laughs> What's going on out here? <laughs> so. Oh, um, I think they're having. Oh, you might be into this, uh, Chez. Or is it Chez? Chez? Hey, you there. Chez works. Chez. I'm not listening to this boring shit for nothing. Come on. <laughs> Chez, you might be interested. They're talking about alchemy and I think drugs. Drugs, you say? Yeah, head on in. I think it's an open, open invitation. Oh, one second. I'm gonna need wine for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Char, he passes out the safety glasses. He uh, <laughs> he uses his new telekinetic hand that he's uh, been steadily trying to, to master to shakily mm. move test tubes around the room. And then, uh, let's see. I've got specialty crafting in uh, alchemy. Can I... Uh, Let's see. Hmm. All right, well, he'll, uh, he'll make some energy mutagens here. <laughs> That's probably the da most dangerous one he knows right now. So he'll, uh, he'll make All one right. of these. So you're using your, your quick teacher? Yeah. All right. All right. He says, uh, oh, okay. He says, so this uh, one, there's a rather interesting principle where it makes you, gives you an affinity for one element. The interesting thing, though, is the elements in opposition to it, though, it makes you very weak, very susceptible to, to injury and prone to illness caused by them. 
here, here, give it a try. And he'll, he'll hand out a uh, three samples in a little, little thimble cup. He knocks one back. Okay, okay. No. Did you already uh, describe your room? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Char's room. Uh, where, is... where do we begin? Strap in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's uh, organized yeah. chaos. There's uh, pretty much any inch of space besides a narrow walkway that kind of winds from the front door to the uh, bedroom at the back, um, which is mostly just a closet that's uh, it's been repurposed. Other than that, there's a uh, every surface and an inch of wall space is covered with different uh, tools, and uh, I guess the sounds would be like a bubbling, kind of constant uh, sizzling noise coming from various burners and uh, fluids that are in various states of um, like distillation or uh, sublimation. Uh, there's all manner of alchemical ingredients splayed out over the ground. There's a uh, stained and patchwork carpets that are on the floor that seem like they're there to soak up oh, caustic God. spills to prevent from <laughs> I was uh, from, why you from burning through the hole. I was wondering why you had so many it's carpets. A, now it makes sense. <laughs> it's to protect the floorboards, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, then, uh, awesome. Yeah, you can see he's got a small stove in the corner that uh, there's definitely wasn't there before. That uh, there's. Uh, a chimney that goes up to the roof that uh, is, <laughs> is working. All right. Hey, uh, with at, at everything though, one thing you do tell is that uh, Ignacy is impressed by your room. Uh, mm. He does. He does uh, see that you how you have things set up, uh, and he uh, uh, says uh, you have a very organized, um, albeit chaotic, uh, process, but it does seem promising. Thank you. Well, yeah, if you ever need uh, uh, ingredients or a potion to work with another, for, for one of your potions, uh, I sell. So you can always come talk to me. All right. Yeah, he gives a, a big style. And Do a, you unlock uh, a secret merchant? Yes, <laughs> he, is a, yeah, he is a secret merchant for uh, potions. Ooh, potion seller, huh? Th that's what we call them. I'll, I'll, I'll that's what we call them in college too, Dom. We call them the potions, <laughs> yeah, the, the secret potion seller. Yeah. Now, if you want, if you want that potion, that's, that's, that's Cesare. Oh, okay. We've got both of them in as here. He, as, as he handed handed you a, some wine as you you know walked in. Mm. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, this wine will mix great with this dangerous experimental elixir. Thank you. Mm -hmm, and she mm -hmm. and she just uh, shotguns both of them. <laughs> yeah, the energy mutagen is pretty neat. <laughs> Just like in the book. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You need a chaser. You, All right. I, I'm sure there's rules in Pathfinder for like mixing potions in your stomach. There's got to be. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there is. Uh, well, you're in luck then. So the energy mutagen, mechanically, uh, you get resistance five to one of the one of four uh, elements: uh, acid, cold, electricity, or fire. And you deal an additional one damage with that weapon, but uh, you gain weakness five to the other three types. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, no. <laughs> so it's uh, it's pretty good uh, situationally. Right. It only lasts a minute though, so I mean, just one combat. Know. All right. So, so um, yeah, I mean, you at this point, you guys have met uh, all of the uh, residents of the Spire Dormitory. Uh, so uh, that, that sure sounds like a milestone. No, no, just just, no, it's check, not. just, no, just it's checking, not. just checking. Oh, I'm doing my. I'm trying to be a good player. I'm trying to be a good player. <laughs> All right. So, um, um, all my favorite players ask me that every session. Every single, <laughs> every session, every hour. You got, right. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are ready to move over to the next next day, we could move over to the next day to your first assignment. Sure. Oh, ready, yeah. ready, yeah, ready, ready, spaghetti. Yeah. All right, Let's see what we got in store for us. All right, uh, let me take you guys back to the dashboard real quick. All right, before we uh, go ahead, I do have a thing to read for you. How do you finish your first day at the Magambia? Uh, there are these little tales that they have in, in the in the book that uh, kind of happen around at the beginning of every chapter that are some are kind of some you know 
I, I'm gonna try and read them where they're when they're appropriate for the uh, uh, you know campaign. But for your first night, we're gonna go through the first one. So uh, here, where is it at? Uh, Mm -hmm. oh, here. Yep. And I'll make these guys, uh, you guys should have Observer, I think Observer will do it, or Limited. All right, I'll show you guys this. Oh, that's adorable. Yep. So, as you guys finish your first night, uh, there's this tale. Uh, so, uh, Old Mage Jutembe was the most powerful man in the world. Uh, wherever he went, he spread hope and light to the people around him. All of the book, all of the good things in the world were awed by uh, Jutembe and came to give him uh, secrets. Uh, all the foul creatures in the uh, all foul creatures declared war on him, but Jutembe stole their magic and banished them. In uh, in this way, Jutembe turned a world of ash into the beautiful land we have today, filled with fish and animals, grain and palm trees, sweet yams and red soil. Uh, the foul beast wailed at their uh, realm of ash and terror, uh, and terror being uh, transformed into rich and wonderful lands. But they all feared Chitembe. One day, a uh, creepy, creeping bad luck spirit inched forth from the grass. It was uh, too young and foolish to know its limits and thought, I will take vengeance on Chitembe and laugh at his, at his misery. Uh, the spirit crawled into a nearby village and asked where Jitembe was, but no one could answer. It asked uh, then where the riches of Jitembe were, but people said uh, they knew of none. It asked where the spouses of Jitembe uh, were, the old men, uh, uh, but the people uh, could not name anyone he had married. Uh, it asked where the weapons of Jitembe were, but the old man, the old mage's greatest weapons, uh, greatest weapon had always been the knowledge he kept in his head. Frustrated, the little spirit uh, demanded, what manner of great man uh, can this Jitembe be if he has no riches, no wives, no husbands, no weapons, nor any children? Uh, yet Jitembe had many children, the people answered, as they showed the little spirit the great city of Natampu, where thousands and thousands of students learned work and helped each other by Jitembe's words. The little spirit uh, decided that if it if it couldn't have vengeance on Jitembe, it would do so upon his children. The spirit listened until it found a voice and told uh, told it how, until it found a voice that told it how to get inside. Following the voice, it crept into the city. Uh, though through uh, the cracks, through the tiny cracks in the building, in the building's walls, so tiny that even an ant uh, would have to squeeze. But Jitembe students caught the spirit and tossed it out like a harmless grass snake. The spirit became terribly angry at its uh, treatment, so uh, but could do nothing on its own. So it sought out others like itself to creep back inside and strike upon the distraction of celebration. All right. Mm. So do we like gather around an SE, give us this tale, or how do we learn of the? Uh, yeah, it could have been a, a tale being told, being told, you know, stories, uh, uh, tales being told, you know, while you guys were hanging out in the common room. Sanji loves stories, so you I mean he probably mm -hmm. would know it. He'll play his uh, his Korra into everyone. Nice. Yeah. Sanji's got the guitar going as he's telling yeah. stories. Guitar is handing out free samples. A good medium. <laughs> Is Lotus getting wine, wine mom? All right. Okay, let's see here. Let me get you guys set up. We did it. We got acknowledgement from Ignacy. Campaign's <laughs> over. It's over. We were done. 
All righty. Uh, I'll be like Yorgos. My goal is going to be to Ignacy to recognize me. As a <laughs> <laughs> I just got to show you his room and see, see what's in there. It's locked behind the door. Mm, true, true. So, Sumi, you're, you're, you're set up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to wanna take notes. <laughs> All right. We'll be guys the next day. Prove the efficacy. All right. So, um, before you guys went to bed and you know, uh, and like called in for the night, as he told you, the uh, uh, meet at the front of the uh, Spire Dormitory um, in the morning, around seven for your first uh, first assignment. All right, and I'll take you guys back to the uh, uh, thunderstorm and spinning rain. Uh, let me see here. Is it raining today? Uh, yep. Yeah. Thunderstorm and spitting rain. I want it to, you to know that I haven't closed Scrabble's uh, pop-up art yet. It's still just on my screen. <laughs> Snabble? Yeah. Snabble, Snabble. yeah. Snabble. <laughs> yeah. I think Snabble Don't know where you got the other name from. <laughs> that other word. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, show you, I'll show you his full art. There he oh, is. dang. His <laughs> full art. Replacing all of the owl bears in Kingmaker, which is about fifty owl bears, with whatever this creature is. So. <laughs> all right. So, uh, as you guys kind of make it towards the front, and I'll move you guys to the front here. First thing in the morning. They got a real owl bear here, problem, I guess. Some, uh, I, got, I got something I can send you for owl bear. Oh yeah. All right. Is it is it bowls? Because um. I've been working on bulls, a replacement to Allen Bears. Oh no, it's it's much more horror. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. So as you guys kinda walk out of here, uh Haven turns towards you guys and says, Ah, oh, green green shoots blossom in the rain. Uh uh, he said, turns towards you guys and says, uh, "It was going to be uh, uh, Anchorut and me to meet you, but Essie took her place." Hmm. And Essie kind of turns towards you and says, "I swapped with Anchorut." Uh, anyways, um, over the next five days, uh, you'll be helping with each of the school's five branches. Uh, Haven and Anchorut Anchor seek to join the Rain Scribes. So, uh, um, let me see here. Uh, it's the branch that explores the world, helps others travel, uh, others travelers uh, make their way through uncertain territory. That means Rain Scribes have to work with both nature and people. Uh, Abram, uh, Uh, Abram uh, says, uh, uh, we can really use the, your help. Uh, the Kofesi markets won't deal with anyone they know as part of the Magambia. Since since you're new, uh, you should be able to get in without a problem. Uh, you'll be looking for uh, chickens. Uh, did you know there's uh, such things as endangered chickens? And then he, you know, posts a... a big grin and says uh, uh, any chicken that comes around me is in, in danger. <laughs> That's a food joke. Okay. I, I, got, I got it. Anyways, um, uh, farmer outside of, of Natambu, uh, Bisola, uh, and her family used to keep uh, old Jafiri chickens. Uh, said they could hatch anything, even a dragon egg. Uh, I don't know about that, but she wants to raise old Jafiri chickens again. And so uh, we're going to get her some. Orgifiri eggs aren't very uh, hardy, and the birds aren't good layers. Uh, so uh, they uh, mostly get uh, put in soup. And uh, now there are hardly any left. So, uh, well, well, we, we caught wind that someone at the Kafesi uh, market has a few chicks. So go and bring us some. You want us to go buy you some rare chickens? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Where's the... 
do you want? The mark? Are you fine with precisely two, or do you want more? Uh, cool. Okay, so uh, uh, Essie kind of chimes in and says, "We need. Uh, we want both a uh, both a male and a female chick. So maybe four. That at least guarantees that hopefully one of them, two, one you know, we'll get one male, one female. So four four chicks is what we're looking for. Four chicks. Okay. Mm-hmm." And to clarify, no one should be murdered during this assignment. They kind of all look. They kind of. They kind of like look at you. Like, scratch. Stop. Like, uh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Did you have a dream about cannibalism again? Panic. Panic. It's a good question. Though. No. Uh, no one should be murdered on this. Is that what um, I pick up with Read the Air? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're getting a distinctly non-murder. Okay, she she smiles great, real big, spell. showing many, many sharp teeth. And she says, I, a jest. A jape, as it were. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A jump. Oh, Anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, so, you gotta, so, yeah, you gotta find find the Confessi Market and then get us some, you know, get your chickens. Get four chickens. Chicks, at least. Uh, have you ever seen an old Jafiri chicken before? Do they breathe fire? No. No, I don't. I don't think so. Okay, good. I want to make sure we weren't like kind of try to take chickens that breathe fire and could kill us. If anybody wants to give me a nature check, see if they know what old chickens are. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we know anything. I'll make a set of cockatrice. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, uh, uh, Ashala, uh, you. Let me check if there's anything. Uh, yeah, Ashala, you, Ashala, Ashalia, you know what uh, Ojafiri chickens are, and I'll pop up the art for everybody since you know. Um, uh, where's the Where's the art for it? There they are. They are uh, a uh, chicken with dark blue uh, feathers with a white underbelly. Uh, uh, a small fowl with uh, white faces, dark blue feathers, and a lavender comb. The chicks uh, uh, have dark, is dark feathers with a white underbelly. All right. Yeah. Give that description to be on the lookout for. Oh, yes. And then when you, when you kind of say it out loud, she's like, yes, that's exactly what, what they look like. Okay, I see you see one before. Um, all right, well, anyways, uh, good luck. Uh, there's some, the, the market somewhere in the Tombo. It's a moving market, so you guys are gonna have to try and find it. It's a moving market? Yeah, oh, they, uh, what was the name they, of the book? Cafessi. And I'll put, I'll put the name in, in chat. Where we got, uh, where do we have to take them? Once we have them, if we find Bring them back here. Oh, okay. Fessy market. So we shouldn't bring our beads. Uh, Abram snaps his finger. Says that's a pretty good idea. Make sure your make sure your beads aren't visible. If they see you're uh, you're from the Magambia, they're not gonna they're not gonna work. Why? Why don't they like people from Magambia? Uh, they kind of look towards each other and shrug. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody has uh, either Mugambia lore or uh, or uh, Ntambu lore, they could uh, roll. Mm-hmm. Maybe they just think, you know, we just make um, magical chickens here. So uh, you've heard about this, um, uh, Vanji, which is Mugambia lore. Uh, so, actually, hold on, let me check something. Yeah. I'm just so, so much uh, in the yeah. all, the, all the secrets. So they, uh, the reason, one of the reasons why, uh, it's not that they, the Confessi Market doesn't uh, work with Mugambia uh, students, is that the Mugambia doesn't like purchasing stuff from the, from the Confessi Market because they like to uh, sell dangerous, cursed, and uh, <laughs> uh, horrible things to, their, to the students. And like, you know, try and, you know, lie and cheat them out of stuff. Oh, 
that's good to know before we go to this marketplace. Yeah, I've heard it's it's pretty uh pretty rough, I guess. Um <sighs> I've definitely read a book about this at some point. I'm sure. You probably uh maybe you uh um were with a trader from the Confessi market and they're telling you about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Merchant just went off. Oh, like, what happened? <laughs> Those damn kids. All right. Well, do you guys have any questions? Oh, one more thing. And uh, as he hands you, Ashalia, a sack of gold. A sack of gold. Oh. Okay. You use this to use this to buy the chickens. Oh, okay. Twenty gold. All right. So we'll just stash it away where nobody can get to it. Mm-hmm. All right, right, everyone, beads off, and let's let's make our way to this market. All right, I'm gonna say it before anyone else does. If we okay. steal the chickens, we get to keep the gold. I don't think that's very Magambia like. What if they find? Well, I, bring the chickens I, well I I I agree. I just wanted to be the one that airs that um, you know temptation. Okay. Well, we were all thinking it, Lotus, but. It's not the Mugambian way. Well, no, I just wanted to be the one that, you know, put it out in the air. Okay, well, put it back. <laughs> uh, back into the back. jar. Put it in your room. <laughs> well, uh... They kind of look, look at you, Lotus. And, uh, they're, uh... Okay, well, uh... Well, obviously, luck. I didn't say it in front of them. Jeez! <laughs> Do you Clearly, hear this? What is that? There was this woman in the bathroom who accused me of not washing my hands. And then the same woman accused me of saying a ridiculously dumb thing in front of the proctors of the exam. This is ridiculous. Maybe they have, like, a, a listening device so they can hear us. I don't know. Mm. All right. I'll take, I'll take you guys to the Nintambu map. Ooh. All right. Second, just want to double check here real quick. Uh, anything? Yeah, it's all it's all set. So this is the city of Natambu. Oh, this I circle see. right here in the center is the Mugambi. Oh. Over here is the Vanji River. Oh, there it is. That's okay. big. That's a big river. It is a big it's river. It's a very it's a very big river. Yeah, big river. A lot of canals. All right. So uh, it is raining. See here. Uh, how do you guys? Uh, so yeah, you're you're free reign to try and figure out how to how to complete this mission. Oh, well, I guess we go up from the dorm and cross at the nearest bridge. Well, I guess we need to figure out where this market is first. It moves around, they said, right? Yeah, but I don't think the students will know. We we'll have to. Add some locals. Mm, blend in. Yeah, get us off campus first. I think we're off campus. I think this is off campus. Yeah, I think we're off yeah, campus yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you're all, yeah. The, yeah. The campus is just uh, a circle in the middle. Anybody know anything about the city? Where like you know popular places to have this not very trustworthy market? Mm. Oh, also, could I have done a gremlins check before bed? With my last spell slot. Oh, okay. yeah, sure. Oh, don't forget to, to rest and, you know, do, do your daily preparations for today. As long as you do it before mid. Oh, right, right, right. Um, mm, I don't think I can do it without a mini. Uh, let me drag one out. This would be with a plus one about gremlins. All right. And I can't get a critical fail. Alright. Uh, you're not sure. Hmm. Okay. Worth hmm. checking. Let's see. So yeah, Tachara would have been... He would have been around, or like a witness to trades between uh, his family and probably some persons within Nintambu, but I don't know if they would have dealt with the 
CC market in particular? Do they deal mostly with just purely animal trade, or is there other other things that they well, trade in? It's pretty much a, a just a street market. They uh, deal with food, uh, animals. They deal with uh, items, potions, uh, 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 you know, art, gems. You know, it's just it's mm. like a flea market. Mm. Okay. Yeah. If they if they got stuff that they're bringing out of the like out of the Mwangi expanse, like the deeper parts of the continents, out if they're trying to trade outside of the. Uh, uh, then they might have utilized his family in the past, maybe, or at least used the river. So you'd say um, perhaps we can check with people at the docks and see if anyone has met with any contacts from them. They must ship their goods down the, use the river to ship their goods. It's right. possible that they have trade ships that, or at least mm. somebody who would know. All right. Where are the docks? Now you point to the west. Oh okay. yeah. There's some docks down there too. There's like a little. Oh, one thing you would learn, uh, something I forgot to mention about the Ojafiri chickens. They are very rare. And so if somebody's selling is selling Ojafiri chickens, you know. Uh this might be other you, know, you might want to you, you may want to get them get there fast. <laughs> fast like a no, chase gonna... scene? No, fast as in, like, if you take too long to get there, um, it might it be so long. the day. <laughs> we see a newspaper that says, the next day, you uh, for sale one day. Um, <laughs> so everyone is mm -hmm. looking for them. What if we just right. ask someone? Maybe just we like, could ask so okay. So if you, if you, yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you want to just, or whatever. yes, if you want to just ask around town to see if you can find it, that would be a gather information. If you have something uh, else, like a, uh, uh, you think a lore school that would be appropriate, like the Tambu lore or merchant lore, um, those can also uh, be leveraged too. Um, but well, if, it, takes, if not, it takes two hours to gather information. Do we want to split yes. up and so, then meet back up? Mm -hmm. That would be the that would be a very good way to do it. Okay. That's good. All right. It's a society right. check. Uh, there okay. should be a, there should be there should be a uh, uh, if it's, you. It's in the basic yeah. act, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, under so expiration. Expiration, second tab. Yeah. Um, Let me drag you guys. You can drag drag out uh, tokens from you. Drag out the party tokens so that you guys can do this stuff all, all on this map. If it's bad, I will burn my last hero point since we are in the the final minutes. I will also spend my last hero point if uh, if I roll poorly. All right, give me a second here. Everybody know. Check. We rolling here. We're doing a. Uh... It's up to you. Uh, uh... Yeah, it'd be gather information. Gather All right. Let me see here. All right. Question. Uh, you guys, you guys took off all your initiate initiate beads, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Uh, Sorry, where's the button for gather information? It's so if we open up the uh, the um, basic oh, action macro and then go to ex and go to exploration, there's a gather information one. Gotcha. Okay. Gather. Information. Um, Vanji, you can if you feel like you wanna wanna, you know, do a uh, you know reroll with your hero point, you can. Sure. Uh, Lotus, you feel the same way. Okay, I will roll it again. And I'll add a plus one if that'll help, because, you know, the session's almost over. Beginners. All right. Oh, All right. Oh, okay. In that case. Um, okay, so uh, let me see here. A ship. Ashalia, uh, Lotus, and Tacharo, uh, and Dusty, you guys think you found the market. However, Vanji, um, you think you found uh, somebody uh, who's selling Ojafiri chickens. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I uh, I will uh, take this in stride as I reunite with my friends. All right. <laughs> Where is the Shalia? Has anyone seen her? She in, the, she in the water? Did she go for a swim? Um, I'm back. Did we find what we we're looking for? I found. I think I found a guy who's selling the chickens. All right, that's that going like a good lead then. I'll lead the way. All right, come on, follow me. I know this city like the back of my hand. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, see here. I'm gonna make a perception check on the uh, back of Anji's hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a hand. Is there a map? <laughs> There's no map. There's no map. Just skin. All right. She's you, a liar. Uh, You're a liar. <laughs> You come up to you come up to this guy. Well, <laughs> I said he introduced himself. At, he he introduced himself as uh, Sado. Sado, okay, Sado. Sado, Sado yeah. sir, we're on a very important. Oh, I know. Uh, I thing. Yeah. You're looking for the rare Ojafiri chickens, aren't you? We are looking for the rare Oji Defiri chickens. Ah, well, I have the ones you are looking you are looking for, and only for two gold each will they be yours. Mm. That seems mm. too good to be true. Is this how the many mark you have? How many chickens? Ah, uh, many, many chickens. Mm. How could you have so many of such a rare chicken? Ah, because I'm an excellent merchant. <laughs> um, um... Mm, oh, does he he's not a merchant. <laughs> Pass. Does he seem like he's lying to us? Uh, you can give me. Uh, you can either. You can do a couple things. You can do. You can inspect the chickens. You could uh, uh, give me a sense motive. Best he gets the small out. This is starting to count out gold. As you guys are hesitating, <laughs> he says. Uh, as you guys are hesitating, he says, "Look, look." I have I have the chickens here, and you know if two gold is too too much for you, we can uh, we can lower that too. Nope, we're out. If these chickens were as rare as they're supposed to be, you would be asking us for more money, not less. Uh, uh, I just... notice my wife. <laughs> he has the chickens. I have to have the actual chickens, Otis, and he's just a really good merchant. Nope. I'm going to the actual <laughs> fucking merch marketplace. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In character, in character. She says, "No, I'm going to the actual fucking marketplace." Uh, I mean, from uh, either uh, both Australia and uh, uh, Tataro. I mean, he sounds he sounds credible. Credible. Can we see the chickens? Let us, let us at least yeah, check we can let check out the chickens chicken. since uh, I mean, Asari has got the money. So. He uh he says, "Oh, you would like to to check these ch check the chickens." Well, you know they're very delicate, so, um, you know, uh, giving them exposure to too much sunlight would be very dangerous. Is that how chickens work? Mm. These chickens that are very rare. Uh, they're still just chickens. They're very, very, very. Uh, uh the chicks are very um, fragile. Okay. Well, can we can we see them? Ah uh, yes, please. Uh, and he uh, he has a uh, uh, a frosted uh, uh, kind of glass with hole uh, uh, cage holding the chicks. <laughs> it's a cage. It's all frosted glass. <laughs> 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 That's, huh. okay. That's incredible. Well, we can't we D can't see them. Dusty um. says, "Oh, okay. You get all these chickens. I'll go with Lotus see if we find any more chickens. We get as many chickens as possible." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you, if you want to, if you want to inspect the chickens, you can give me uh, a perception check to see if you can peer through the uh, frosted glass, or you could try and convince them to open it. All right. Listen, listen, buddy. I'll level with you. We mm -hmm, need these mm -hmm. chickens real bad. It's a life or death situation. Oh. Can you? Oh. It, can you just <laughs> please open it a smidge? And we have this awesome umbrella that'll shield the chickens from the sun. Give me a diplomacy check. Uh, request. Make a request. Make a request. All right. I think I need to target him for requests. Uh, you don't. Uh, in that case, just give me a blind uh, diplomacy. Blind diplomacy. Okay. Yep. 
I have the DC here. Alrighty. Uh, diplomacy. And I will use hero point on this if, you, mm -hmm. if I need to. All right, yes. Uh, he says, oh, well, if you're, uh, you're, you're a customer, and I value, you know, you want to make sure you're buying what you want to buy. And so he uh, uh, opens the, uh, the uh, frosted cage, frosted uh, glass cage. And I'm uh, someone who's smarter than me to look at the chickens. All right. If anybody gives me, anybody looking at the chickens, give me a nature check. Yeah, well, we got to. Confirm right. these are accurate chickens. Uh, looking at them, they are uh, 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 they all are dark blue, all dark blue, all dark blue. Hmm. Mm. Do any of them have white underbelly? Yeah, yeah, white underbelly. So yes, yes, that's the first thing that pops up for you, uh, Ashala, is they don't have white underbellies. Same thing for your Tataro. You recognize mm. them as actually baby swans. <laughs> He's a swindler. They've got big schnauzes. They're painted. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to charm mm. easily down with the swindlers. Mm. Mm. They're, they're actually children dressed like chickens. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Vanti, I don't Cobalt. think these are chickens. What do you mean? I, I think they're a different bird. What? Why would he lie to us? They just start uh, quacking. Yes, why, why would I? I wouldn't lie, uh, lie yeah. to you. Sure. He's, he's I, dealt with, he, I he don't know if he, uh, he lied. He might just, he you know, a... misidentified them. These are these are one. These are deaf. These are Ojafiri chickens. Is that Odin's no, possible? Chicken noise. That's chicken noise. Chicken no, 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 that's not a chicken noise. That's a duck noise. Is it possible that whoever sold you these mixed up their shipment with? Another. It seems as if these are not uh, these are not the chickens that we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> he does, does he try to see one last attempt? These are the chickens you're looking for. When he tries to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you say that, he's like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Look, um, yeah, of course, yes, they're not the chickens. Uh, they're not what you fear chickens, but. They are definitely good chickens. If you're looking for chickens, you know these are good chickens. The typical nice and, uh, price for chickens or swans. About two gold. All right, Char Law for how many? How many are there? Uh, he has seven. All right, Char Law for him, ten gold for the chickens. <laughs> yeah, for the chickens. Quote what? 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 Why what? are you doing this? I mean, I'm not there, I'm but yeah, I'll put these. I'll put these in your uh, in your inventory then. I'm you really curious. Swans from someone? Did you just like pick these swans from their He mom? needs test subjects for his potions. <laughs> no, not no, test subjects. No. He should have. have a They're not ingredients, in right? This is a, this is a ring scribe test. All right, adaptability. He's taking these, taking these, uh, uh, swan. Yeah, but I put a chick in your inventory, renamed them the swans, and put their uh, price to, um, to gold. Actually, sure. I'll do it. I gotcha. I got it. I should probably do it. Uh, two, three, and you have, you bought five of them, right? Ten gold, so you bought five of them. And baby swans. Oh no, he was offering him ten for the the lot. For the whole for the whole seven. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. In that case, I mean, yeah, he'll he'll take it. <laughs> of course, <Yeah>. he will. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. Wait, hold on. There you go. Alrighty. Um, in that case, okay. So yeah, you uh, find the, you go, you head over here, and then the rest of you, the rest of you, start heading towards the uh, the other market. Before leaving, Tatar makes sure he shakes hands with the the merchant and uh, introduces himself, and then uh, oh. lets him know that uh, if they had any future trade deals, they might uh, reach out. To. Mm -hmm. 
see if they can find out where to find them or something. Okay. Yeah, he keeps that in mind. Ah, Tacharo. Oh. Sunda. Okay. Sunda. I think I've heard. I think I've heard of your family before. Ah, oh, it's great doing business with you. Hmm. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm gonna move the time forward a bit. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. So uh, since you guys started. Uh, um, two hours of, of, of gathering information and uh, interacting with this, going to, heading towards this this person. It's about an hour from here to the other uh, thing. So um, it would be um, one more hour from here to the uh, other where you guys believe the uh, Kafesi market is. On the way there, I want to I want to pick up. Oh, like a little picnic basket or something to keep the chickens in. The okay. You probably, I mean, at the market, you could probably get that at the market. Little chicks. I don't know how big they're right. going to be. All right. And I'll take you guys over to this map for a little end session as you guys arrive. Uh, over here. It's a lotus right up. Yeah, All right. We get as many chickens as possible. All righty. So, you guys arrive at the Kafesi Markets. Based off of your uh, um, uh, gather information, you know the person who sells, who's supposed to be selling some type of chickens here is named uh, McKenna. Should be a, a, a very stern face uh, woman. Mm. All right. And from there, I'll take you guys back to the dashboard and we'll, uh, we'll end the session. Well, now we have a bunch of swans. Yeah. yeah. Swan chicks. There was a little pond in the back of our dorm. <laughs> Mm, that's Put true. Them in there, that'd be so cute. We're rescuing them. The Charles you know? Swans. Charles Swans. Charles Swans. Charles. Charles. Feeling that uh, that guy probably was going to be able to offload him, and that uh, he wasn't oh. sure what was going to happen to him after that. Hmm. True. 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 <laughs> All right. So, uh, thank you guys for playing session two of Strength of Thousands. Um, like, like uh, we are just scratching the surface. So, uh, buckle up. <laughs> mm. okay. You're telling me we're not deep into the campaign here on day two? No, <laughs> no. I think we're on... Uh, I think we're on, like, paragraph uh, two of the pair. second page. <laughs> Which is fine. No, no, I, I mean... I, I'm liking it. I like you, the, I like you, the you guys are You guys are doing good. I like just walking around campus, chilling out. I want to look at the gardens eventually. Excited for that. Oh, we got little, we got classmates lining up over here. Yep. Oh, I should probably reveal, I can reveal all of them now. Yeah, the different door mates. Yeah. Which one is the one that's like super unlucky? Uh, that was Mariama. Okay. Yeah, I see. I assumed it was her. I just, I just wanted to get confirmation. Just because she introduces herself to everyone, she's unlucky. She just, she got the vibe, you know, you know. Just. She's I like, like how coolest we're person there. We're oh, collecting yeah. them like uh, Funko Pop uh, minis over here. So. Up on the shelf. Oh, we haven't even met yeah. her lizard yet. It's cool. Yeah, you probably would have met her lizard at some point during that night. Oh, okay. What is that? Look, what is, oh, look at it. Oh, it's yeah. like that lizard from... What's that movie? It's animated. <laughs> Rescuers yes, down. Yes, yes. <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Joanna. Oh, man. man. Going way back for that. <laughs> First there was Joanna. Then there was that Pokemon that made me a little confused about Joanna. <laughs> then there was then there was Pal World. And that's when I started therapy. So, yep, yep. Snap. The rest is history. I love it. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> well, uh, quick announcements. Um, 
tomorrow. I don't think anything happened. Anything's happening tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, Nightfall continues. Friday, uh, broadcast. I think we're talking about mini games. Um, Saturday, uh, Alcat Star. Uh, I, I noon continues. Uh, I, are you guys doing Vampire Saturday? Saturday to, uh, this Saturday? Nah, they got pushed back. All right. All right. Sunday will uh, daybreak. They're doing whatever they're doing. Um, Sunday, uh, Sunday night, Mythic Odyssey continues. Uh, we've grown up, <laughs> apparently. Uh, you, you've done uh, what now? <laughs> grown up. Grown up? Oh, man. Yeah, apparently. I mean, Grandma Katia thinks you've grown up finally, but... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, um, and then Monday, uh, uh, Outlaw's uh, Sunset. You know, they're doing their thing. Um, and Tuesday, we'll be back here. Uh, anybody got any announcements? Um, yeah, I'm probably going to run another... Uh... Uh, one shot. Well, I guess uh, like, yeah, try to do one shot for the, the Mothership RPG, which is a sci-fi horror. Um, I got it all set mm -hmm. up to run again. I just kind of lost track of where I was at. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I definitely want to run that again. Maybe on a Saturday. I'm just gonna try to pick a, a good day that there's not a bunch of crazy other stuff happening. Um, yeah, look out for that. I'll probably put an in-game listing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. Uh, the group I did a bunch of our last uh, last year's charity one shots for, they just kind of swore me as soon as I announced it, so I didn't even get to post the game. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, let's play that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> but there will actually, right, awesome. be, a, there'll actually be, a, a be a posting this time. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I got a bunch of other starter sets I'm going to try and run this year. For another. Okay. That's it. Uh, other... Yeah, I don't think there's any other announcements I can think of. All right. All right, cool. In that case, right, cool. thanks for playing. All right. Yeah. Good night, everybody. We'll see everyone next week. Bye. Oh, oh. oh uh, wait. Oh, you can you can end the stream. Okay, this is uh, just end for you guys. Stream. Bye.